Yo! What's good, everybody? Hey, guys. I'm sorry we're starting a little bit later than I was planning to, but we were having a few minor technical difficulties. For some reason, my face cam was freezing up. My mic was messing up a tiny bit, too. But I think we got everything fixed. You guys let me know. Can you see me just fine? Can you hear me just fine? Does everything look good, sound good? You guys let me know in the chat. Shout out to my boy LA2K for renewing his membership. And shout out to Waffle Duck 621 Thank you so much for subscribing. And welcome to Doc Nation, my man. Yeah, like I was saying, y'all let me know. Does everything look good? Does everything sound good? Of course, my face cam setup is a little bit different than usual. I know I usually have the face cam frame with CP the Doc on it, but today we're looking a little bit different. I hope you guys are okay with that. And I hope you guys are ready for a big stream tonight. You guys see the title, so you know what's up. We're playing Triple Threat Offline. We have 1,920 wins, which places us 80 wins away from the Triple Threat Offline Grand Prize. Dominique Wilkins, my boy Doc Adams is already dropping a dono. He said, can you please explain to people if you go life or no? Doc Adams, you're going to have to rephrase that question, my man. Thank you so much for the dono, Doc Adams. Also, Fable with a $2 dono. Stream dubs, let's go, everyone. Like the stream. I couldn't have said it better myself. You guys listen to my boy Fable. Drop a like on the stream if you haven't already. And, of course, if you enjoy the stream, I would love it if you subscribe if you haven't already. I post or stream NBA 2K content pretty much every day. So, if you enjoy that kind of stuff, you're definitely in the right place. And I think you're going to enjoy this live stream today. Thank you so much, Doc Adams and Fable for the donos. And getting back to what I was saying, you guys know what's going on, man. We are not ending this stream until we get Dominique Wilkins. And maybe along the way, we're going to get these cards like Dark Matter, Tony Parker, Terrence Ross, Ralph Sampson out the vault, Elgin Baylor. I actually already have Ralph Sampson, Terrence Ross, and Tony Parker. I got all those guys out the vault. As you guys can see right here, Tony Parker has that original owner sticker. Ralph Sampson has that original owner sticker. And so does Terrence Ross. But I haven't gotten Derrick Rose from the vault yet, so maybe today's the day. We're playing 80 games. We're going to get 80 dubs. That means, in theory, we have 80 chances at Derrick Rose. Hey, Hi Yi, thank you so much for the dono, my brother. A $1 dono from Hi Yi, $2 from Doc Adams. And man, we also got one from, whoa, another dono, what? I wasn't even done talking. Another dono from Doc Adams. He said, let people know if you go live or not. They ask daily. Usually at the end of every stream, I let you guys know if I'm gonna stream the next day. I'll give you guys like updates on Twitter sometimes too and in my YouTube um, community feed. It really depends. Maybe I also need to be more active in the Discord, but yeah, guys, let's go ahead and get this thing started. I probably have to turn off the shot meter. Let's go ahead and do that. Another dono for my boy Fable. He said, no dono war, please. Dude, you're the one dropping the donos. Doc Adams, Fable, Hi Yi, dropping so many donos. And this stream literally just started. This stream literally is just getting started. And you guys are already dropping so many donos. Man, thank y'all so much for showing love as usual. This is going to be a good stream. So you guys sit back, relax, and enjoy it. This one should be a lot of fun. Solo said, everyone like and subscribe. Yes, sir. Y'all listen to Solo. Also, I haven't said this yet because I've been doing a lot of talking to begin the stream, but y'all say what's up to me if you haven't already. Say hi to me. I need to start saying hi to you guys. I've pretty much been talking the entire time just... Giving you guys exposition, telling y'all what we're doing in the stream, telling you guys why I'm a little bit late starting, talking about technical difficulties. Y'all say what's up to me, man. What up, Claps You Know, Kovacs? What's up, Sleep, J Riser, Ethan, William? What's up, Times, Greek Freak, OX Void, Love for Carry, Jason, Tempest, Orange Juice, Say YT, Preston, Peyton, Cash Gaming. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of familiar faces in the chat. A lot of guys who are in the streams all the time. It is good to see so many of you guys in here again. And I hope you guys enjoy this stream. Another dono? Are you serious? 
two dollars from my boy hawkeye he said honestly dub streamer dub player dub life and dub stream yes sir hawkeye thank you so much for the dono we're gonna be catching dubs all night we are not ending the stream until we win 80 games in triple threat offline we are gonna be done grinding triple threat for the rest of the year gaming forever said hi doc what's good gaming forever welcome back to the stream good to see you back in the building again welcome to the stream gaming forever also what is up ethan what's up clips what's up xavier god t man yeah so many people in the chat jack it's hard to keep up with but we're gonna be catching a lot of dubs in this stream there's another dub right there a dono another dono from my boy ghost ghost said yo what up ghost welcome to the stream my brother hope everything's good with you and i thank you so much for the dono you guys have already dropped so many donos and we've only been live for like six minutes that should be our first win of the stream right there i haven't played much 2k today but i'm all warmed up i'm ready to catch a bunch of dubs tonight what's up marcus what's up glock 9 what's up zakar finch kubi specify yt max four jason howard rb blitz man there's too many names for me to keep up with everybody but i'm doing my absolute best i promise y'all derek said just got terrence ross big dub i've heard terrence ross isn't that good i'm still glad you got him though he's a free dark matter what's up legacy dmi what's up tomer what up jordan 210 trey elliott ox void said somebody should gift memberships i'm not sure how much a gift membership even costs all i know is that doc adams has gifted like 10 of them i have no idea how much they cost but i do appreciate doc adams for donating or you know sponsoring so many memberships and shout out to youtube for implementing gift memberships the fuzzy pickle thank you so much for subscribing welcome to doc nation my man hey i know we already have so many likes on this stream we already have a bunch of donos but you guys make sure to subscribe if you haven't already be like the fuzzy pickle great name and subscribe if you haven't already this channel is growing every single day i'm having so much fun making content for y'all and our sub goal for today our sub goal for this stream is 32.6 thousand subs we're less than 100 away we just hit 32.5 today and we've been growing at a really fast clip lately so shout out to everybody who's been tuning into the streams subscribing just showing up really big and showing a lot of support i'm missing a lot of shots let me stop missing trey said doc i've been sick but i'm back welcome back trey i'm sorry you were sick but it's good to have you back what's up at and g damon ducky dark knight i'm doing great man i appreciate so many of you guys asking it's been a good day for me i wish i could have streamed yesterday but i got busy at night some work was thrown on to me at the very last minute and i couldn't avoid it man but we're back today streaming and i'm probably gonna stream tomorrow too also tomorrow i'm hosting a basketball video that's right summer league basketball is finally returning after a year summer league basketball episode one of this summer is dropping tomorrow so you guys stay tuned for that and be ready fable with another dono he said by the way I got a hundred dollar mic for twenty hundred dollar mic for twenty dollars that's a steal thank you so much for the dono fable malik said what is your discord it's called official cp the doc discord maybe somebody could drop the link in the chat and i could pin it at the top of the chat drippy toast said this is about to be fire facts this is gonna be a good stream man i've been excited for it all day it's gonna be a pretty long stream too because we have 79 more games to win we got a lot of games that we got to win so let's win this game let's get warmed up and let's start playing a lot better because i missed a couple shots last game i've missed a few shots this game too we shouldn't be missing any shots with this chris weber man so i gotta get warmed up and once i get warmed up we will be zooming through these games super fast with weber yeah we're starting to find a groove we are beginning to get in the rhythm all right my boy hawkeye just sent the link to the discord so let me go ahead and pin that at the top of the chat if any of you guys are interested 
in joining the Discord, go ahead and join that link that y'all see pinned at the top of the chat. Hey, what's up, Wyatona Productions? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Seabass, Ben, Stay Ballin', Justin Duggan, Jack Goats YT, and LeBron. LeBron said just got Harden. That is a massive dub. Harden's pretty good. One of my favorite players in the game right now, without a doubt. What up, Cade? What's up, Brody? Walker says, any luck? Any luck getting players from the vault? I've gotten every player except Derrick Rose. So if I get him, that'd be awesome. But I wouldn't mind getting another Ralph Sampson or Terrence Ross or even Tony Parker because even Tony Parker is selling for like 8000 on the auction house. So I wouldn't mind that either, to be honest with you. What up, Speedy? Welcome to the stream. Owen says, I'm level 35, not sure if I can reach 40. What are your thoughts? I think you can. Also, I think Raven Productions is an absolute dub. Ravens, thank you so much for the dono. He said, I finally got Jabari to complete the next set. Yes, sir. So you got all the NBA rookies. You got Terry Eason, Chet, Jabari, Paolo. That's a massive dub, man. Congratulations on finishing that collection. And of course, thank you for the dono, obviously. Every single dono gets me hyped. Every single dono gets me happy. That is a massive dub, my man. Thank you. What's up, Running Bulls? Welcome to the stream. Peyton says, have you heard of the Pelicans playbook glitch? No, I haven't. Ibox Tough says, on level 33, is that good? Yes. Tay says, I hit level 40 and he's tough. Who's tough, Jokic? Yeah, he's pretty good. I wish his jump shot was a bit faster, but overall, he's still a really fun player. We won, like, almost all of our clutch time games with him as our point guard, and we barely lost along the way. We won a lot of games without really losing at all. What up to Marcus Jr.? Welcome to the stream. Doc Adams said 600 members in the Discord. That is a massive dub. That's a massive dub, man. Thomas Stevens said, what up, Doc? How are you? I'm doing amazing, man. It's been a good day. It's been a pretty chill day, too. After the stream, I have a lot of work to get done, but it's good work, man. I gotta finish editing my Summer League basketball video. I gotta finish some, you know, videos I'm editing for my work. And outside of that, it should be a pretty fun night. Ernest said his jump shot's too slow. Yeah, man. I wish Jokic had the same jump shot as, like... Chris Webber. That'd be awesome. Of course, all the endgame cards have super fast jump shots. Except for James Harden. Except for, um, Jokic, too. Every other card, the jump shots fire. What's up, Sweaty Alex? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Saynell? What up, Jack Smith? What up, Jovi? Jovi said, can we get a That's what I'm talking about! Yes, sir. I usually give you guys like one or two of those every stream. I don't yell, that's what I'm talking about very often, but usually once or twice per stream, I'll give you guys a good old hearty, that's what I'm talking about. What up, AJ? What's up, Blake? Derek said, who's the best card in the game in your opinion? Man, that Giannis who plays the point guard is really, really good. Of course, Invincible Luke is great, but yeah, endgame Giannis is unstoppable. Endgame Yao Ming's pretty insane too, and the out of position Yao Ming's not bad either. Really, any of these endgame guys, like T Mac coming out tomorrow, um, who else coming out tomorrow? KD. Both of the new cards, well, all four of the new cards tomorrow are gonna be in contention for best card in the game because they're just that good. Why am I missing these shots? I'm missing way too much to begin the stream. We should be winning these games a lot faster, but for some reason I'm actually missing jumpers, so. Let's try not to miss the rest of the game. We shouldn't miss the rest of the game. This is a pretty easy matchup. What up, No No? Welcome to the stream. Quaid said, how many more wins? Not many. Um, 77. After this game, it'll be 76. Yeah, if we just, you know, get stops on defense, even if we let them score, as long as we just hit our shots, we should be fine, but... Back-to-back -back misses to begin the game is crazy. We shouldn't miss the rest of the game. What up, Freeze? Welcome to the stream. Trey said, can't forget the out-of-position Taco with the shooting guard. Yeah, Taco might also be the best card in the game. 
Yao Ming's great. Taco's great. I mean, even Endgame Kobe and Shaq are great. All the Endgame cards are just insane. All the Endgame cards are just... They're just crazy. Fast jump shots, great animations. You know, they have all 80 badges. Not to mention, they have 99 everything. Every Endgame card's insane. What's up, Sauroff? What's up, Atticus? Welcome to the stream. Memes and basketball said how many games left. If we get this win, 76. Hey, guys, we got yet another dono from my boy, Wyatona. He said, like the stream and subscribe to one of the GOAT grinders of 2K, Mr. CP the Doc. I appreciate you, Wyatona. $10 dono to begin the stream. That's the biggest dono we've gotten so far. Thank you so much for the dono, my brother. And yeah, you guys listen to Wyatona. I might not be the GOAT, but... I do stream or post NBA 2K content pretty much every day. So if you enjoy the vibes of this stream, just know I do this all the time. I love doing this. I do it almost every day. So you guys stay tuned for more content, subscribe, and let's see if we can get that sub goal today, man. Our sub goal is 32.6 thousand, and I think we can definitely get there this stream. What's up, AA1? What's up, Grant Williams is king. Yes, sir. My man said, what up, Poopsticks99, the OG Xbox name. What's up, Grant? What's up, Rich Liang, AA1? B-Dub said, how do you get Dominique Wilkins? Dominique is the big reward for 2,000 triple threat wins, so we're finishing the triple threat grind today. After today, we're done grinding for all those wins in triple threat. Caleb the Goat said, is Jokic worth grinding for? He's really good. It's just, I wish his jump shot was faster. I don't think his jump shot being bad is the end-all, be-all of his card. I don't think that it means he's trash all because of the jumper, but it would be nice if his jump shot was faster. What's up, Splash? Welcome to the stream. It's Savage said. It made my day to see you were live. I'm so glad it did, Savage. Man, I was gonna stream yesterday, but like I said earlier, some work I had to do came up at the last minute pretty much. I think like 30 or 40 minutes before I was about to start, I realized that I had some work to get done. I didn't procrastinate the work. I didn't procrastinate. It's just that some videos I had to get done were basically thrown on me at the last minute. So I really had no choice but to get that work done. But here we are again today. Here we are again back on the grind. No way, man. We got another don't know. The new biggest dono of the stream from my boy Fable, he said, Come on. Yeah, that's my reaction to that. Come on. A $13 dono? That's Carl Malone's favorite number right there. Fable, thank you so much for our biggest dono of the stream. Wyatona drops $10, and then Fable immediately answers back with 13 Man. That gets me hyped. And the chat is super hyped too. I'm seeing nothing but dubs in the chat, which is awesome. Mystic Jack said, Dono War. Hey, I'm not an advocate for war, but a Dono War is not a bad type of war. Also, Soli SG. I hope I pronounced that right. Soli, Suli. Thank you so much for subscribing. I haven't said it much this stream, but you guys be like, Suli. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already and join in on Doc Nation today. I'm missing a lot of shots with Weber. I've been bricking a lot. There we go. Tony says, I'm grinding triple threat with you. Yes, sir. Good luck. I hope you get Invincible Derrick Rose, Ralph Sampson. If you get any of those guys, that would be a massive dub. What's up, T. Diaz? Welcome to the stream. Mad says, my PS5 came in today. I'm so hyped. Hey. I'm hyped for you. I'm super hyped for you. That PlayStation 5 is a dope console, so I'm glad you finally get to play it. It's Savage says, I'm level 34. Should I keep on going for Jokic? Yeah, you're pretty much halfway there, and we aren't even halfway through the season, so I say keep going. I say keep the good times rolling. You might as well go ahead and get them since you're so close. What's up, Cowboys fan 88? What's up, Nate Mellington? What's good, Jennifer? I've gotten three Elgins, but no D-Rose. That sucks. Elgin Baylor, I've heard he's not bad, but I have heard he's a little bit mid for an Invincible card. I've gotten him like three times too, but 
No Derrick Roses. No D Rose yet. What's up, Caleb Fielder? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Christopher? Kyler said, how many wins do you have? I'm pretty sure we have 1,925 now, so I think 75 wins left. Even though I'm not shooting the best, we're still winning games at a pretty fast pace, so if we keep on, you know, getting fast buckets, if we keep on getting stops on defense, we should be able to get through about 18, 19 games in about one hour, so... I'm thinking this stream will be a little bit over four hours if we win the games at a fast pace, but yeah, you guys see the way I play. We're able to get through these games pretty fast by playing good enough defense and of course hitting all of our shots. I haven't shot the best this stream though, so let's start hitting our shots a bit better. Hey, what's up Brody Trippin? Welcome back. What's good, Jamie Mello? Peregrine says, I got Elgin Baylor today. That's a dub. I'm not sure if I'm ever going to use Elgin Baylor, but I'm glad I got him because we need every card we can get for collector level. Speaking of collector level, I think tomorrow night I'm going to stream getting Endgame Dirk. We're about 40 cards away, I think. So I think tomorrow we're going to lock in. We're going to spend some MT. We're going to get Invincible Dirk at 4,000 cards, and then we're going to get Endgame Dirk at you know 53 points with the invincible card so maybe we'll play triple threat online after since i think we're gonna get a weekend event so we'll get dirk pretty early in the stream it should take us no more than like 30 40 minutes to actually spend all the mt and get all the cards needed for invincible dirk then we gotta score like 53 points with the invincible dirk to get the end game dirk so i think after i do that I might begin selling all the cards in my collection because once I get Dirk, once I get all the Hall of Fame badges, I'm going to have absolutely no use for having 4,000 cards in my collection. So I think that's what's up. I think that's what tomorrow's stream is going to be all about. We're going to get Invincible Dirk, then Endgame Dirk, and then we're probably just going to grind some Triple Threat online for the rest of the night. Maybe Clutch Time since we're probably also going to have some free players in Clutch Time. Megan said, yo CP, this is me, T Jass. You've said that like 30 times, so I know. What's up, Trayvon? Welcome to the stream. What's good, Cody? Not Hydra said, have you gotten D Rose? Sadly, no, no D Rose yet for me. In fact, I don't think I've even opened the vault this stream. You guys tell me if I'm wrong, but I don't think I've opened the vault a single time. What's up, Durant MVP? What's up, Psycho? What's up, Big Booty? Great name. What's up, Bailey? What's up, Joshua? Joshua says the vault updates tomorrow. I think it might update tomorrow. I'm not 100% sure, so don't quote me on it, but last weekend we got like Vince Carter in Triple Threat Online, obviously. We also got Chet Holmgren in Clutch Time. We got Pokachevsky in Clutch Time. We got Vince Carter in Triple Threat Offline and Online, so I wouldn't be surprised if 2K adds a different card to um, Triple Threat Online because... I think last week they also added Jamal Crawford on the weekend. They added um, Pink Diamond Rudy Gobert. There was also Vince Carter. There was Chris Middleton during the week. If there's an event going on in Triple Threat Online, I think that we'll do that tomorrow after we get Dirk. I think there's going to be an event, but I'm not sure if they're going to add a new Invincible because the Invincible that came out last week was Vince Carter. And he was in the vault and Triple Threat Online pretty much all week. Same thing with D-Rose this week, so we will have to see. Bad shot. My boy Joshua said Elgin Baylor needs to go. I'm tired of getting him. I've gotten him three times now. Whenever I see that Dark Matter glow, I'm so hopeful that it might be Derrick Rose, but I haven't gotten Derrick Rose once. Maybe I'll get him this stream. We have to win like 80 games this stream, so I guess we're going to have technically 80 chances at him but you never know what's up goat larry welcome to the stream what's up prince milwaukee j i'm never gonna wait four seconds before opening the vault ever again people always tell me that when they wait like five seconds 10 seconds 20 seconds before opening the vault they say it opens but whenever i wait 10 seconds to open the vault it just doesn't open so yeah i'm not gonna waste like 4 seconds, 10 seconds, even though it's not much time, 
whenever I do wait, the vault never opens. What's up, Patrick? Welcome to the stream. Sin City said, what's good, C? Pete the Doc, how's the progress so far? So far, so good, man. We've just been chilling. We've won, like, six games. I think seven games, if I make this shot right here. Triple Threat Offline? It's not as bad as Domination because the games are shorter, but it's still a super tedious grind. We're gonna be alright though, man, and we are not ending this stream until I finish. What's up, Georgios? Welcome to the stream. What up, Ryan? What's up, Landon Thomas? The dude says the Vault, Wheel, and Draft Mode are all RNG. Yeah, facts. Also, Triple Threat Online. Of course, you gotta drop the ball to get the player. But also, you gotta get lucky to even see the player on the board, so that's 100% facts. 100%. At the end of the day, opening the vault, getting a good player, you know, getting a good player on the triple threat online board, and even, you know, getting a player from the clutch time wheel, it's pretty much 100% luck based, which is not always a bad thing, but it is a bad thing when the odds are just so low. Also, KK's fan, I'm sorry I missed this at first. But thank you so much for the sub. And welcome to Doc Nation. You guys be like KKs. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. This is going to be a long stream. You guys sit back, relax. Feel free to talk to me the entire time. We're not ending till we get Dominique. So y'all give me some company, man. Good shot. Raven said the vault's doing my guy dirty. Yeah. You kind of stole that message from Mystic Jack. I saw he said the exact same thing first, but yeah. The vault is doing me dirty because I haven't opened it a single time, which is crazy. We've won seven games, and I don't think I've opened the vault a single time. Preston said fifth stream in a row. Yes, sir. Lucell said, yo, what's good, Lucell? What's up, Pig Nation? Unfiltered Truth says vault of tokens. I haven't even gotten tokens yet. Now, I have heard that a bunch of you guys are getting tokens, but I haven't even gotten tokens yet. It's crazy. It's abysmal. What's good, John Morant? Jacob Frederick? Trayvon Hall? You've said hi like a thousand times now. Good defense. What's up, Matt Williams? Raphael? Tony said, what cards are coming out tomorrow? Uh, Kevin Durant and Tracy McGrady. That's pretty much it. Greek Freak said Spud Web. I wouldn't mind a Spud Web card. Or a Muggsy Bogues. Are we going to see an endgame Muggsy Bogues? I wouldn't be surprised if we do. Carson said it's impossible. The vault is so annoying. Thankfully for me, I'm not really going for any vault rewards tonight. I'm going for Dominique. We've already gotten Ralph Sampson out the vault. And Terrence Ross and Tony Parker and Elgin Baylor. Of course... Getting Rose would be nice, but I'm not really expecting it, you know? I'm not betting on getting D-Rose. What's up, Sad? What's up, Swayze? What's up, Uncle? Welcome to the stream, ladies and gents. Yeah, three tokens. Of course the vault finally opens, and the first thing we get is three tokens. You hate to see it, but you always expect it. What's up, Elizabeth? What's up, Uggy Season? Tommy Watson said, Bogus, probably level 1 next season. Bogus? Oh, you mean Bogues. Yeah, Bogues, endgame. He might seriously be level 1 next season. I wouldn't be surprised. What's up, your boy Joseph? Welcome to the stream. Let's just snatch back. Knock down that 3. How do you even get Dominique? Dominique's the reward for 2,000 wins in Triple Threat. A lot of people don't know that. To be fair... Most people don't have close to 2,000 wins in Triple Threat offline. That's a lot of wins. But yeah, to get Dominique, 2,000 wins in offline. What's up, Luol XD? Welcome to the stream. Jen Carlos said, the vault's doing my man dirty. We're going to get some Dark Matters eventually out the vault. I mean, it's inevitable. It's probably going to be Tony Parker or Elgin Baylor. Hopefully, it's not Elgin Baylor. If it's Tony Parker, I'm not going to be upset because Tony Parker is selling for like 8,000 MT. Terrence Ross is also kind of cheap, but at least he has value. And Ralph Sampson, I actually heard he's really, really good. I got him, but I haven't used him yet. I've heard he's a beast. 
What's up, Sprint? Welcome to the stream. Ah, bad shot. I'm missing a lot early in the stream. I gotta stop missing shots. We're winning every game easily, but we'd be winning a little bit faster if I wasn't bricking everything. Brody said Ralph is so good. Yeah, I've heard he's a beast. Haven't used him, but I'll use him eventually. He's my backup power forward right now. I might even start him for now at the center because he's like seven foot four, seven foot five, something like that. I've heard he's really good. Hey, what's up, CN? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Lil Naz? Welcome back. Peyton says, advised to level up quickly. I'm level 37. We're not even halfway through the season, and you're level 37, so I really don't think you need too much advice. I guess just save up MT so you can buy players who have challenges. I mean, that's pretty much it. I don't think it's that hard to grind XP. You just gotta buy players who have challenges and do the challenges. It really comes down to that. I think it's that easy. What's up, Manoli? What's up, Eric King? What's up, Eli? Wantless2k? Welcome to the stream, ladies and gents. Not Hydra said, Ralph Sampson's jumper is so good, and he moves good. Hey, that's that's a great dub, man. Especially because he's like 7'4". That's a big dub. The dude says, I got Ralph, badged him up, sold him for 70k. Not bad, not bad at all. What's up, MC Greenshot? What's up, Rexa? My boy Rexa says, I'm finally out of the sweaty, sweet streets. I got C Web, yes, sir. Man, clutch time. It gets so sweaty, man. It really does. We finished it pretty quick, though. And we had a lot of fun playing clutch time, too. Of course, the reward for clutch time is Chris Weber. And we're using him right now. I'm shooting all my shots with Chris Weber and Chris Weber only. He's got that fast release that's pretty hard to contest, but. I'm not doing much dribbling, so we actually are getting contested a few times, but he's really good. Congratulations for getting him, and I hope you enjoy him. Y6 says, I got Dyson with 62 Hall of Fames. Is that good? It sounds pretty good. C9 said, how do you get Wilkins? 2,000 triple threat wins. 2,000 triple threat offline dubs. Wow, bad shot. Sprint said, how do you get endgame players easy? Is there really an easy way to get endgame players? I guess the easiest way to get them is by just buying them. Or sniping them. Or just getting James Harden and Weber and Jokic and calling it a day. Easy endgame players. I don't know if that's even possible. Getting an endgame player easily. Good block. Should be a bucket here. Lucell says, I think I'll get Jokic today. Yes, sir. Jokic is not bad. We were talking about this earlier. Jokic is good, but his jump shot just makes it hard to use him sometimes. I won pretty much every single clutch time game with him, though. Every game this season of clutch time, we were using either Jokic or Harden. Savage said, where should I play Jokic? I play Jokic at the point guard because he's a hype mismatch. And if you're playing versus somebody who has, like, Giannis at point guard... You know, KD a point guard, for example. Jokic has the height and, of course, the lateral quickness, the speed, the badges to actually give him a hard time. Let's go. We got off to a bad start this game, but it ain't how you start. Swayze says, are you going for Invincible Grant Hill? Maybe. I might. I usually finish Unlimited towards the end of the season. I usually get the reward, but I don't know. I just don't really like playing Unlimited. It gets sweaty. Then again, pretty much every online game mode is sweaty. Even Triple Threat Online gets sweaty sometimes. I'll think about it. What's up, Blaze? What's up, YouTube Kaden? What's up, Mark? Megan said, tis how you finish. Exactly. It is not how you start. We haven't missed a shot since the very beginning. Wyatt Justice said, Yo, Doc, how you doing? I'm doing great, man. I'm having a really good night. I see a lot of you guys in the chat asking how I'm doing, but man, I hope you guys are having a good night too. Or a good day, wherever you're watching the stream from around the world. Yeah, we have 568 people in here. 
and we've only been live for 35 minutes, so amazing crowd. I know for a fact not everybody in here is subscribed, so if you're subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. Also, make sure you drop a like on the stream to help it get out there, and yeah, let's keep on growing. Maybe by the end of this stream, we can hit that good old sub goal. Walker says, I got Terran Strauss out the vault. Yes, sir. I'm glad you got him out the vault. Getting him out the vault for free is a lot better than buying him on the auction house. Megan says, I'm having a good day because I'm watching you. I appreciate that. Yeah, like I said, man, I hope all you guys are having good days or nights. Maybe even afternoons. It's going to be a good stream today. Good block. Goofy said, sorry I'm late, Doc. You're not too late. I mean, this is going to be like a four-hour stream. Over four hours, but we've only been going for about 36 minutes. We've won 10 games already, though, so we are winning these games at a pretty fast pace. What's up, Blake D? Welcome to the stream. Freaks said, OMG, how do you get him? Dominique Wilkins is the reward for 2,000 total triple threat offline wins. So it's a long grind, very long grind. Hey, Melbourne Storm. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to Doc Nation, Melbourne. It's good to have you. You guys be like him. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Hugo Gaming. Thank you for the sub. Hey, just like that, we gained two subs in a span of like 10 seconds. That's amazing. Oh my gosh. Noah Edmund. Thank you for subscribing. Man, you guys keep on hitting that sub button. I never want to force you guys to sub, so I'm not going to beg y'all to sub. If you're enjoying the content, though, I would love it if you subbed. I post or stream NBA 2K content pretty much every day. Sometimes I post real life basketball videos, 1v1s, 5v5s. I'm actually posting a real life basketball video tomorrow. You guys loved my Summer League basketball series last year. Guess what? I'm bringing it back tomorrow. So you guys turn on those notifications so you don't miss it. It's going to be an awesome video and I'm super excited to post it. Super excited. And then next week I'm posting another episode. The week after that, another episode. And yeah, pretty soon it's going to be playoff time. So y'all stay tuned. What's up, Luca? What's up, Mason? What's up, Ryan? CJ says, I feel like it's impossible to get these Dark Matters. The more games you play, the more chances you have to get the Dark Matters. Last night, I got a bunch of them. I got Ralph Sampson. I got Elgin Baylor a ton. I got like five or six Tony Parkers, and we also got one Terrence Ross. We also just got two brand new subscribers. Speaking of Tony Parker, there he is. Jody Lee, thank you so much for the sub. Also, Adam, let me go ahead and replay your message right now. Thank you for subscribing as well. What's up, Mr. Raymer? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Ryan? Goose said, watching your streams while doing Driver's Ed. Yes, sir, Goose. I hope you're enjoying it so far. Yeah, like I was saying, man, getting the Dark Matters out the vault, the odds are kind of low. I know Tony Parker's not very good, but he's selling for about 8,000 MT, so that's not the worst pull ever. That's a pretty good pull. And all the MT we get from selling guys like Tony Parker, Terrence Ross, all that MT can be used tomorrow when I'm buying cards for Dirk. Great shot. Legacy said, CP, I'm still here. I appreciate the reminder. I appreciate you letting me know. Ah, good bad defense. Mystic Jack says, I'm going to be lurking. I'm grinding the show right now. Yes, sir. Do what you got to do. Do what you got to do. I know you'll be here. Gav Lav 34. Thank you for the sub. It's good to have you in Doc Nation, Gav Lav. Elizabeth said, 600 people in here. I know, it's crazy. This stream's off to an amazing start. You guys say what's up to me in the chat. Say hi to me if you haven't already. Let me know how you're doing. I really hope you're enjoying this stream. It's going to be a good one tonight. It's going to be pretty long too, so 
If y'all need something to watch, something to listen to, just know I'm here. I got y'all. I got you tonight. What up, Jaden Machado? Welcome back. What's up, competitive gamer? Noah Edmund, thank you again for subscribing. What up, Julian? Kayvon? Good to have you guys in the stream tonight. Let's go ahead and snatch back for another three. Oh, yeah. Weber's cooking now. Colin says, I'm getting James Harden tonight. Yes, sir. Let me know when you get him. Getting James Harden's a big deal. We got him pretty early in the season, but man, you're still getting him at a really good time too. James Harden's a beast. I wish his jumper was a little bit faster, but I still really enjoy using him. What's up, Jaden Phillips? Welcome to the stream. Julian said, yo, Doc, how is it in Alabama? Eh, you know Alabama, man. Multiple times this summer, it's been forecasted that the weather's gonna be, you know, rainy, a little bit cool, like, you know, mid-70s, low 80s, but it just ends up being over 100 degrees half the time. And earlier this morning, it was raining so hard, it was thundering outside so hard, it woke me up at like 6 a.m. And you know the worst part, it was forecasted to be completely sunny today. The weather in Alabama is just so unpredictable. You never know what's gonna happen. And like I said earlier, whenever it's hot, it's hot. I swear, like half the summer, it's been over 100 degrees at a certain point in the day. I'm tired of it, but I'm used to it. Kristaps said, did you see Terrence Ross react to his My Team card? Yeah, he was upset. Terrence Ross does not like his My Team card one bit. It's only selling for like 14000 on the auction house too. Maybe even cheaper than that now. Felipe said, goofy weather report. I'm telling you, weather in Alabama is unpredictable. I swear, like, these people who forecast the weather, it's like they just pull different weather conditions out of a hat. It's like they have a hat, they're blindfolded, they pull a little card out the hat that says, oh, it's supposed to be rainy today. Or, oh, it's supposed to be a 70% chance of rain at 4 o'clock. It's like they pull out all these different cards, you know, rainy, 4 o'clock, 70% chance. It's like they pull out all these cards and that's how they predict the weather. It's bad. The weather, it's just so unpredictable. What's up, mankind? Welcome to the stream. Jake Cooper said, we in Minnesota now. You know... I haven't said that yet this stream, so I appreciate you reminding me. We in Minnesota now. Good shot, C Web. No Limit AJ said, how do you get that Chris Weber? Chris Weber is a clutch time reward. 2,000, I mean, 100 wins in clutch time. What? No, no, 100 wins. Yeah, 100 wins in clutch time. I said 2,000 because I was thinking about this freaking triple threat grind, but yeah. 100 clutch time wins, of course, without losing three games in a row at any point along the way. Hey, what's good, Spontaneous J? Welcome to the stream. I played a draft board today and got nothing. Oh, man, I'm sorry about that. The other day, we played draft for the first and last time this season. Thankfully, we got Jerry West immediately. Ninky said... Alabama weather source trust me, bro. Exactly. Exactly Like it was supposed to be sunny the entire day, you know clear skies But thunder and rain like super, you know hard rain wake me up at like 6 a.m. Like come on Alabama weather What's up Keyshop? What's up Jethro? What's up? I love basketball YT. Welcome to the stream. Mystic Jack says, you know I don't go outside or pay attention to the weather. I have a full endgame starting lineup. Yeah, you haven't been outside in weeks. Nah, I'm kidding. Man, even I don't have a full endgame starting lineup yet. Of course, after tomorrow, I'm going to have Dirk, so he's going to be a power forward for me. But then, I got to save up some MT for a center because I don't have an endgame center yet. Drippy Toast said, can't wait for that Summer League basketball video. Dude, it's going to be good. You guys make sure you don't miss it. I'm posting one video tomorrow. 
I'm going to be dropping another episode next week, maybe early in the week. I'm not sure when I'll drop it yet, but I do know I have two episodes recorded. I have the thumbnail ready for tomorrow. All I got to do is finish a little bit more editing stuff and the video is going to be done. I'm super excited for it, man. B Diddy said Dirk is a lot of fun. I've heard his jump shot is so nice. The Invincible Dirk is kind of trash, I've heard, but I know the Endgame one is nice. What's up, Try Hard Gaming? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Thomas Steven? Welcome back. Norsad said, hey man, I'm new to the channel. Hey, welcome to the stream. Welcome to my channel. If you enjoy what you see, enjoy it, then sit back, relax, talk to me in the chat. Maybe even subscribe. It's going to be a good stream today, man. I hope you like this stream. DMP Drosian said, haven't tuned in for a while. Awesome to see the goat is still going. Hey, I'm not the goat, but I'm still going for sure. We are still kicking. Megan said, how many wins so far? I think 12 or 13. We'll check after this game, but I haven't really kept count. Liquid Sub, thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation. Liquid, thank you so much for the sub, my man. Y'all be like him. And subscribe if you're enjoying the vibes. Good shot. Ashmail says, I actually don't like Endgame Dirk. Set shot 25 on current is kind of ass. That's true. That's true. In the corner, on current gen, players who have set shot 25 step in. On next gen, it's not so bad. And of course, we're on next gen, so we should be cool with Endgame Dirk. He should be a beast for us. Hey, what's up, Just Austin? Welcome to the stream. No Limit HA said dub stream. Yes, sir. And Benji Quinton, you're a dub too, my man. Thank you so much for subscribing. Good to have you in Doc Nation, Benji Quinton. My boy Spontaneous J said, like, 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 sub, sub, sub. Hey, I couldn't have said it better myself. You guys listen to my boy Spontaneous J. Subscribe to the channel and maybe even drop a like. Every single like and every single sub help this stream and channel get out there. And maybe they help us grow a bit too. What up, Kovacs? Welcome to the stream. Andy said, what's up, Doc? Sorry I'm late. Congratulations on Jerry West. Yes, sir. We got the logo on Tuesday, right? We got Jerry West on Tuesday night. I'm probably never going to use him, but it's good to have him for collector level. And of course, I like collecting as many invincibles as possible. It's good to have him, for sure. It's your boy EDP said, how do you get out of game so quickly? You can quit the game right after the buzzer goes off. For me, I usually quit the game right after the scoreboard disappears. Like, I'll show you guys once this game's over. If you quit the game right when the scoreboard disappears, then you get to skip the entire screen that shows how much MT you made during the game. Yeah, I'll show you guys how to do that once this game's over, so let's knock down our threes and let's get through this game fast. Mackie RL! Shout out to you. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation, Mackie. Also, Norsad, in his first stream, in his first time watching my channel, also subscribes. Norsad, you're the man, and it's good to have you. Let's play some defense, man. Let's get out of this game fast. Faisal said, how many endgame cards do you have? I only have three. Jokic, Weber, Harden, but... Tomorrow, we're going to get Dirk. Tomorrow's stream might not be super long. It might be like three, four hours. But we're going to start the stream by getting Invincible Dirk. Then we're going to, of course, score 53 points with Invincible Dirk to get Endgame Dirk. And then we're probably going to grind out some Triple Threat online with Dirk since we already beat Clutch Time. And we might get new cards in Triple Threat online. We'll have to see. Tice! Said, what's up? What's good, Tice? Welcome to the stream. Dub said, did you get D-Rose? Not yet, man. No D-Rose for me. I've gotten Terrence Ross. I've gotten like a thousand Tony Parkers. I've gotten one Ralph Sampson. A few Elgin Baylors. But no D-Rose yet. Unlucky, man. 
What's up, Derp Godzilla? Welcome to the stream. Also, Ollie Bonnick. Thank you for the sub. We've been gaining so many new subs so early in the stream. It's awesome. I'm glad you guys are enjoying it. Glad you guys are enjoying the vibes. There's another new sub right there. Will J. Thank you so much for the sub. Joshua says, are you on PlayStation or Xbox? I'm an Xbox man today. I have the PlayStation as well, but I usually don't play 2K on there. I have 2K on there, but I don't play it very much. I usually grind it out on Xbox on my No Money Spent account. What's up, Frey Lind? Welcome to the stream. Walker says, if you get 2,000 wins in Triple Threat, can you still play? Yeah, yeah, you can still play. It's just your win count is not going to go up. It stops at 2,000 whenever you get 2,000 wins. Night Monkey said, how many wins? This stream, we've won like 15 games, and it hasn't even been one hour yet, so we're actually winning games at a pretty fast pace. We are now 65 games away from Dominique Wilkins. Yeah, man, 15 wins in about 45 minutes playing is not bad, because remember, for the first like five or six minutes of the stream, I was just talking. I was talking, talking, talking about why I couldn't stream yesterday, why this stream started a little bit later than I was planning on. I was doing a lot of talking. Austin Long, thank you so much for the sub. Good to have you in Doc Nation, Austin. You guys be like Austin and subscribe if you enjoy the vibes. If you're enjoying this stream, just know I do streams like this all the time. I wouldn't say it's a daily thing, but it's almost a daily thing. Almost. Tryhard Gaming said, do you think another season is possible? I mean, this season ends about halfway through August, so 2K is obviously going to give us some more stuff to do, you know, after this season's over, but it's going to be just like season 10, quote unquote season 10, in 2K21. In this, you know, season 10, if that's what you want to call it, 2K, they didn't give you any new content. Well, they didn't give us any new content. They really just gave us a bunch of previous rewards as Unlimited, Level 40, you know, Limited, Triple Threat Online. A bunch of just previously released cards like Invincible KD, for example, and Invincible Kobe. They were the rewards that were put in all the game modes. So Season 9 of 2K22 is not really going to have any new content. It's just going to have a bunch of cards that have already been released and... I think an endgame card like J.R. Smith, for example, maybe Michael Jordan, whenever he comes out, they're probably going to be the level 40 card. It's not going to be like a brand new player. We're not going to be getting like brand new cards in every game modes. It'll probably be just like 2K21 where it was a bunch of previously released cards available on the first day of the season. And this season's never going to end. This season's not ending. It's probably going to begin like halfway through August. And remember, NBA 2K23 comes out, I want to say September 7th, so not even a full month into this final season, we're getting a brand new 2K game. So that's why 2K is not going to give us any new content, because they're mainly focused on 2K23 at this point. May 4th said, go Knicks. Yes, sir, May 4th. Welcome to the stream. What's up, Big Boto? Debaser said content stops a week before. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So the final season, quote unquote, is going to be just like the final season in 2K21. Benji Quinton says, you are my goat. I appreciate that. But man, there are so many people out there who I consider the goat over me, especially in this community. Baser says, I think season nine is going to be like three weeks long. You think so? I'm pretty sure season nine is just going to be a unlimited season. Like, it's never going to end. Just like the final season in 22, 21, excuse me. Chun Hung Lee said, what's up, Doc? Any thoughts on Endgame KD? Endgame KD is going to be crazy. And I can't believe that KD is going to be a point guard. Tracy McGrady and KD are getting two endgame cards. One 
that can play their, you know, natural position. And another who can play the point guard. It's crazy. It's crazy. Good shot. Andy says, are you in the summer league? Yes, that's why I'm posting a video tomorrow. Javen said, hi CP. What's up, Javen? Welcome to the stream. Good defense. Another good shot. Preston said, how do you get the energy to grind for these cards? Great question. Great question. When I first started grinding in like 2K20, I was able to do some very long grinds right out the gate. I was able to sit down and play the game for a long period of time. And I think it's all because I stream it. If I didn't stream it, it would not be as fun for me to, you know, grind for these cards. Like if I was just sitting on my own, you know, in silence, maybe listening to music or something like that, maybe watching Netflix, it wouldn't be as fun. But since I stream it, that actually makes it pretty fun. Talking to you guys takes my mind off the game. And yeah, the game gets pretty boring if you're just 100% focused on it. So maybe call somebody and talk to them while you're grinding. Turn on some Netflix, turn on some music or a YouTube video, Twitch stream, anything like that. Liquid Sub said, hey CP, your stream is so good. It's my first time watching your channel, A. Hey, I appreciate you. I'm glad you're enjoying the stream so far. Especially your first time watching. Little Timmy said, why does my grandma always say, I am C Fallen. Debaser said, speaking of Netflix, how do you like Stranger Things Volume 2? Volume 2 of Stranger Things was great. I wish it was more episodes, but... It was still like over three hours of content, so I can't complain. Stranger Things Season 4 was really good, so I recommend you guys check that out if you haven't already. Stranger Things is good. What up, Miami? Welcome to the stream. Fireboy said, how many wins are you at? I want to say we're at like 1,937, I think. We'll check out for this game, but I usually don't like keep count of my wins until the very end great shot also Uva Dover thank you for subscribing Uva Dover Uva Dover I hope I pronounced it right welcome to Doc Nation thank you so much for the sub Ryan said when does Rose leave the vault I think Derek Rose is gonna be in the vault until the end of the weekend I know that yesterday it said he's going to be out of the vault on July 15th, but I don't know. I think he's going to be here for the entire weekend, just like how Vince Carter was here for the entire weekend last weekend. So we'll see. According to 2K, he's going to be out of the vault tomorrow, but I wouldn't be surprised to see him stay a little bit longer. Ah, got to green that. Preston says, what have I missed? Really not much. Not much. I mean, we still have like 60 games left to play, so I wouldn't say you've missed out on too much. We're just going to be winning a lot of games, shooting a lot of threes, making it splash. All right, let's get right to the basket. Nice layup. Roman says, are you good at the game or just a streamer? Uh, neither really. Not good at the game and I'm not really a streamer. More of a content creator. Bryster313, thank you so much for the sub. Vinny says, anything good from the vault yet? Um, Tony Parker, that's about it. Yesterday, I got Ralph Sampson. I got a few Elgin Baylors. I got one Terrence Ross, but I, man, I really want Derrick Rose. There's another Tony Parker right there, speaking of him. So two Tony Parkers in 18 games played. Zaho said, hey doc, your streams are so satisfying. I love how calm you are. I always watch and today decided to comment. Greetings from Tunisia, hey. Shout out to Tunisia and welcome to the stream. I'm glad you finally said something. You guys feel free to talk to me whenever you want to. I do my best to respond to everything, but on nights like this one, 
it's tough over 600 people in here the chat's going crazy i do my best but you guys have been super active today so thank y'all so much for that gotta green that shot my wi-fi says i've played 40 offline games and only gotten tokens that's awful that is so bad and it's only three tokens too it would be nice if it was five tokens instead of three because at this point in the year tokens really aren't that valuable only big q said yo from jamaica what's up big q welcome to the stream and of course shout out to jamaica we got guys watching this stream from jamaica tunisia all around the world i love it i absolutely love it algi said should i sell ralph for 20k hmm i mean it's your decision i've heard he's really good i haven't used him but i've heard ralph samson's nice what up coop welcome to the stream big dog says i'm back sorry i'm late man you're not too late we have a lot of games left to play a lot of games left to win you are not too late band man said just got ralph samson from clutch time yes sir yes sir i think that 2k is going to take him out of clutch time you know to begin the weekend though i think they're going to put some new players in there but i'm not sure who i guess we'll see tomorrow Bailey says, I reckon you're really good at the game. I'd say I'm okay. I mean, we got Chris Webber very easily. We are like 90 and 8 in Triple Threat Online. I have most of the unlimited rewards. I'd love to say I'm decent at the game. I'd love to say I'm at least okay at it. Let's go. And that should be a 3. Algi said, is the Grizzlies filter still good? haven't used it in over a week i want to say it's still okay i haven't tried it yet i haven't tried it in over a week but i've heard the cards prices have gone down a little bit so maybe it's not as good as it was in my last sniping video but it's still probably pretty good right there's no way it's trash kenny said this is my first time hitting level 40 yes sir and of course Jokic is probably the best level 40 reward even though his jump shot's not the best. Xro says, I've played 20 domination games in two days. That's a heck of a grind, man. Yeah, if you play 10 games tomorrow, you'll be almost done. Assuming you have 13 games left. Andy said, Michael Jordan, CP the Doc, and Kevin Durant are my goats. That is some very elite company right there me in the same sentence as jordan and durant no nah, i don't deserve that no way rishin said we in minnesota now what's up rishin welcome to the stream what's up dbz reacts and what's up zuccarini man i haven't seen that name in a long time i haven't seen that name in months but it is good to have you back night fury says i just got elgin baylor nice elgin baylor I haven't used him yet, but I've heard such mixed opinions about his card. I've seen some people say they love him. I've seen the majority of people say that he just sucks, so I gotta give him a try at some point. I got to. What's up, Steve? Welcome to the stream. Doge Super said, how many wins do you have? I'm pretty sure we have like 1,939. It might be 1,940. Whatever it is, I know we're about 60 wins away. So Rituals said, hey Doc, how are you? I'm doing great, man. It's been an awesome day. I'm feeling pretty energized. How are you doing? Clutch said, Doc, I got James Harden today. Nice. I've been seeing a lot of you guys in the chat getting James Harden today. Joshua said, Elgin's cool, just short. Yeah, six foot five shooting guard, small forward is not the best. Especially considering how many good, you know, six nine, six eight, maybe even six ten small forwards and shooting guards there are in the game. Not to mention Yao Ming, who can play the shooting guard position, and Taco, who can play shooting guard. 
Jonas said, Elgin's not bad. He's just super mid. Yeah, like, I think the go-to explanation for Elgin Baylor is that he's just super mid. I've been seeing everybody say that. What's up, DKA? Welcome to the stream. Shun Hung Lee said, how many cards in your collection? Like, 3,960. We have, like, 40... Less than 40 cards left. I just can't remember the exact number, so... Tomorrow, we're gonna be finishing that grind for Dirk. We're gonna be buying the rest of the cards. Maybe selling back some cards so I can make MT back. And, of course, we're gonna make sure we get Endgame Dirk after unlocking Invincible Dirk, so... You guys be ready for that stream tomorrow. It's gonna be a good one. Securing our fourth endgame card. Josiah said Prime Giannis or Prime Shaq. I mean, we've only seen like one or two years of Giannis' Prime. He's probably still getting better. We might not have seen the best of Giannis yet, so... I don't really think we can compare Giannis to Shaq yet, but Giannis is just dominant. Probably the most dominant player in the league. Uncle says I'm back. What's good, Uncle? Welcome back. Hoops with KK said, did you get D-Rose? No D-Rose yet. No D-Rose from me. What's up, one for Jutsu? Welcome to the stream. Kenny said, do you think Cavs J.R. Smith is good in 2K or in real life? Because in real life, he was pretty solid for the Cavs, even though he always gets memed for... Game 1 of the 2018 Finals. He had some great games. Really good games. Really big moments, too. Good shot. What up, Deuce? Welcome to the stream. Algi said, how many games you got left? 60 games left. 60 games. We actually just had the chance to see. So yeah, for anybody wondering, we have 60 games remaining. Which should take a little bit over three hours. Gabe said, are there any buy now Invincibles? Not that I know of yet. We're going to see some eventually, but I don't think any Invincibles are buy now just yet. I know Mobley is getting close. I know Duncan's getting close. And Bill Russell, I've heard, is also getting pretty close. But I don't think there are any buy nows yet. Also, Hazard, I missed your message, but thank you so much for subscribing. Let's go ahead and replay that message right now. Hazard, welcome to Doc Nation, my man. Thank you so much for subscribing. Y'all be like my boy Hazard, and subscribe if you haven't already. Let's get a three right quick. Behind the back, boom. Andy says, are you on the Sacramento Kings? No, I live in Alabama. Bailey said, Duncan and Bill. Alki said, Duncan. I didn't know that. I never really check the auction house unless I'm sniping, so... I had no idea they were buy nows. You learn something new every day, though. Monkey said, Benedict. Matherin, I didn't know he was- I didn't know he was invincible. I knew he was a buy now, but not invincible. Preston said, Robert Ori's a buy now. Not surprised. I almost forgot about him. I forgot Hori had an invincible card. Nah. 2K Joseph said, what's up, man? What's up, Joseph? Welcome to the stream. Good shot. All right, officially less than 60 games to go. I Love Basketball said, how many games? That was win number 1,900. 41. So yeah, 59 cards remaining. What's up, Joanne? What's up, that MF Snipe? And what's up, Levi Cassidy? Welcome to the stream. Snipe, it's been a great day, man. It's been a really good day. I've gotten a lot done. Hope it's been a good day for you too, my brother. Vinny said, are you excited for T-Mac and KD tomorrow? I don't really care about T-Mac and KD. I mean... I don't really open packs, so not really excited for him. Siege, thank you so much for subscribing too. What up, Aiden? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Zach? Zaho said, how do you learn players jump shots easily? I mean, just practice with them, I guess. Practice with them. 
and you gotta realize that most players they shoot the basketball at the very top of their jump so if you have a player who jumps very high on their jump shot like Tracy McGrady for example or James Harden just know that they are very likely to release the ball near the top of their jump a lot of players also have quick releases so yeah just turn the shot meter off practice some releases it's pretty easy to shoot this year big green windows you know high white percentages you just got to go in a shoot around and learn players releases at this point in the year so many players have similar jump shots though so if you learn one player's jump shot you'll know a lot more than just that player's jump shot what's up inventive montage welcome to the stream Josiah says, if you could choose any player on the 2023 cover, who would it be? Hmm, the 2K23 cover? Hmm, that's tough. I know a lot of people wanted John Morant. A bunch of people also wanted Jason Tatum. I think that Curry or Jokic on the cover would have been really cool because Curry obviously just won a championship and Jokic, back-to-back -back MVPs. So I think seeing either of those guys on the cover would have been cool, but... I don't think Booker is the worst. I don't think that's the worst cover. I know that the 2K23 cover with Booker has been getting a whole lot of hate, but it looks pretty fire, and he's a really good young player, so it's understandable why he got the cover, even though I know a lot of people who just don't like it. 2K Joseph said, who's your favorite card to use? Chris Webber. Gotta be this Chris Webber. Night Fury says, I tried Elgin Baylor. I gave him a 7 out of 10. He's good, but it's just his speed. I haven't heard many complaints about his speed, but I've heard that, you know, he could be taller. Of course, he's only 6 foot 5, so he's not going to be a super effective shooting guard or small forward, especially when he's guarded by guys like Taco, for example, or Yao Ming. I can understand people who say his height's a problem, but of course, there's nothing we can do to change that. And I've heard his jump shot is easy to time, but not very fast. I don't know. Maybe it's either not very fast or not hard to contest. I don't know, but I've heard a lot of complaints about his jump shot, about his height, obviously. Nothing about his speed. Mystic Jack said, mini dub. Yes, sir, we got T. Ross. I didn't get too hype about it because y'all know I want D. Rose, but hey, we'll take T. Ross. That's more MT right there, man. What's up, Jeremiah? Welcome to the stream. Godly Power says, is Chris Webber worth it? I think he is, yes. Ashmel said, it's the Dolph jump shot, which is fine, but not like a top 10 jumper. Yeah, I agree. Dolph's jumper's not bad, but I can already see it in my head what Baylor's jumper looks like. That King Dre said, good night. Right back at you, man. Good night. And thank you for hanging around for so long. It's Savage said, I'm back. What's good, Savage? Welcome back. Also, what's up, Kings? Welcome to the stream. Gotta hit that shot. Gotta green that shot. Only 7% contested. I know I didn't do any dribble move, but gotta make that shot. Let's actually make a move right here. Let's snatch back. Boom. We shouldn't miss the rest of the game. Nor said. Said, would you do a layup for 150k, 500k for the mid-range, or $2 million for the three-pointer in real life? Hmm. That's a tough one because you guys know I practice my three-point shot a lot. If you've seen my TikTok, then you know I can shoot that three. But... 150k for making a wide open layup that's pretty good money and it's guaranteed i think it depends on the rims i think it depends on where i'm shooting around because if it's a double rim you might get hold on a three-pointer or a mid-range shot if it's like you know a single rim i think i'd shoot the three but if it's an outdoor double rim or any one of those weird outdoor rims that are like super stiff i think i'll settle for the layup but in pretty much any indoor court, I think I'm going for a three, but 
Yeah, double rim. No, I'm going for the layup for sure. It depends on the circumstances. It might even depend on the ball. Good shot. Tommy said, yo, what's up, Doc? What's good, Tommy? Welcome to the stream. Monkey said, Doc is a better shooter than Stoof Carey. Man, I'm never going to be that good at shooting, but y'all know, I've been working on the jumper. And you guys are going to see that jumper on full display in tomorrow's video. Jeremiah said, how many games did you win? I think we've won like a 22 games this stream, which means like 1,942, well actually 43 total. I'm telling you guys, I really don't keep count of how many games I win. So whenever y'all ask like how many games I've won, unless I super recently looked at the amount of wins, I usually forget. Clash with Hampton said, do you play any games other than 2K? I do. But of course, a new season pretty much just started in 2K. It's been going on for about two weeks now, so I'm, grind I'm grinding out all the rewards like, you know, Jokic for example, Harden, Weber, Pete Maravich. Today we're getting Dominique Wilkins. Once we start running out of content, then I might start playing other games on the channel like Fall Guys. I mean, look at this. We have over 600 people in here. Getting a huge Fall Guys lobby together would be so much fun with 600 people. That would be unbelievable. That would be so hype if we can just get a big Fall Guys game going. How many of you guys in the chat play Fall Guys? I'm not gonna lie. I haven't played Fall Guys in like two weeks because of 2K. The new season starting, grinding domination, clutch time, level 40. How many of you guys actually play it? What's up, God Guy? Welcome to the stream. What's up, KJZ? Yeah, Greek Freak plays it. Mystic Jack plays it. Miami, Basball for Life. I clipped you. It's a super fun game. Very fun game. Preston plays it. Hazy, ZGA, Elizabeth. Yeah, if I do a Fall Guy stream on a day where 2K content is kind of dry, we could actually put together a little Fall Guy stream. Maybe. What up, Hazy 2K? Welcome to the stream. Spontaneous said, just played with the kids. It's a fun game. Very fun game. Good luck. Never mind, out of luck. God Guy says, I'm one game away from James Harden. Nice. Yeah, James Harden's a beast. I know I say it all the time, but I wish his jump shot was faster. That's the one thing about him. He can dribble, he can shoot. He can dunk, he can defend. But that jump shot, I just can't get past it. Elizabeth said that'd be dope. Facts. Yeah, like, if it's towards the end of the season and the 2K content's not as hot, we can definitely do some Fall Guys. I was gonna do that last season, but I eh, never had the chance. Tommy said some cards are good for offline only. I think Harden's one of those cards since his jump shot's not super fast, but he's pretty good online too. And that's facts, Algie. His leaner is definitely cash. His leaner is money. I mean, to be fair, all the endgame cards, even Jokic has a really good leaner. Really, really good. What's up, Royal Brayden? Welcome to the stream. Cameron said, just pulled Invincible JR. Nice. Vofel said, what's up, Doc? What's good, Vofel? Welcome to the stream. Megan said, how many wins? 1,944 now. Keith said, what's good, Doc? Yesterday, I got Elgin Baylor, triple offline, and Daryl Dawkins from The Ascension. Nice. I've used Dawkins. He's pretty fun. Fast jump shot. Andy said, CP the Doc on the 2K24 cover. Yeah, not gonna happen. That'd be crazy. Are we really making early predictions for the 2K24 cover? I guess we'll have to see who it is in the future. Quaid says, have you gotten anything out the vault? We've gotten two Tony Parkers, one Terrence Ross, and obviously a ton of tokens. That's pretty much it. No Derrick Rose this stream, no Elgin Baylor either, and of course no Ralph Sampson so far, but maybe we'll get one of those guys eventually. We have over 50 games left, so maybe we'll see one of those guys before we're done getting Dominique. 
What up, Lucas? Welcome to the stream. Elizabeth says, are we going to get some Dominique gameplay? Maybe, but probably not. A Dominique gameplay video? Probably not, but maybe I'll play some TTO with him tomorrow. Maybe, since we are going to be playing TTO with Dirk. Kristoff says, when are they going to give Doc an endgame card? Great question. I don't think I deserve one just yet. I mean, right now, they haven't even given Jordan, Bird, and LeBron endgame cards yet, so we'll see. Hazy says, I'm level 32. Should I go for 40? That's your call. I mean, level 32 is pretty good, and we get so much XP throughout the course of the season. Especially this season, we get so much XP that can be done with just the My Team Anniversary versions of Taco, Carmelo, JR, for example. You can get so much XP just from buying those cards and doing their challenges, so I think level 40 is super easy, especially this season. I say go for it, because Jokic is pretty good. DKA says we need that Luka endgame card. We're gonna get him eventually. We definitely will. I wonder if 2K is gonna change his jump shot though, or if they're gonna have him with the exact same jumper. I guess we'll have to see. Ashmel said, do you think we're gonna get the equivalent of GOAT packs from last year? I think so, Ashmel. I think that we're gonna get packs with all GOATs and all Invincibles in them. I doubt we're gonna get packs with like only end games and only Invincibles. I think we'll get a pack with all of them together. Zoro Simp said, yo doc, how can I make MT fast? I mean, sniping's gotta be the best way. If there's anything you wanna do that's not sniping though, I think Triple Threat Online's the way to go. That's a very good way to make MT. Just playing TTO. Carson said, did you get D Rose? Haven't gotten him yet, no. I've gotten every other card from the vault except D Rose. What up, Matt? Welcome to the stream. Ashmel said, Endgame and Invincible Packs make sense. Facts. Man, there's going to be so many cards in those packs. So many Endgames, so many Invincibles. I'll definitely do a pack opening with those packs, but I don't think I'll do a big pack opening until we get Super Packs or Guaranteed Endgame slash Invincible Packs. Because I've heard the odds for these, you know, Kobe Shaq Packs the Giannis and Yao packs, the JR, and you know, you all know what I mean. The odds for those packs, I've heard are terrible, so I think I'll wait until those super packs come out with guaranteed goats and invincibles. What up, Sean? What up, Christy? Welcome to the stream, both of y'all. Brandon said, do you think that we're going to get some dark matter gauntlet challenges? I don't think so, no. I'd love to. I would love it if 2K gave us some challenges, but usually in the final season, 2K doesn't give us any challenges, so I'm expecting everything this season to be all packs. You know, packs on Tuesdays, packs on Fridays, players in triple threat, online, offline, and clutch time on Wednesdays and Thursdays, you know, events on Fridays. I'm not expecting any spotlights. I'm expecting pretty much all packs, all XP challenges, and that's going to be our main content, since I'm 99% sure that 2K is focused on 2K23 right now. I don't think they really care about, you know, adding stuff to 22. Plus, we already got some spotlight challenges, quote unquote, for Joel Embiid, so I'm, I'm not sure if 2K is going to add any more. Gorilla Tag said, Yo CP, I'm having the hardest time finishing the last six games of Domination. I mean, you got through the first 27 games just fine. So stay locked in, play good defense, run in transition, run pick and roll, get good open shots, and you should be fine. You should be all right. Snipe says, I really hope there's a spotlight sim. I love spotlight grinds. Me too. I would love that. Y'all know I love grinding these game modes, man. Whether it's clutch time or domination, whether it's triple threat online or offline. Whether it's level 40 or even spotlights, you guys know I enjoy grinding the game. 
I enjoy playing the game, talking to y'all while getting the job done and getting the card, but just based on 2K's past track record, I doubt we're going to see any spotlights. I'd love to see them, but I just don't think it's going to happen. I would love to be wrong. I would love for 2K to prove me wrong, though. Poopy Doggy said, is Invincible Elgin Baylor good? He's pretty mid, I've heard. I haven't used him, but I've heard he's pretty mid. TTV said, yo, I'm so sorry I'm late, didn't get a notification, it is all good. I'm just glad you're here. Welcome to the stream, my boy. Solo YT said, how many wins do you have? We have... 1,945. I think I'm correct about that, I think. 1,945. Logan said, just pulled Endgame Taco. Nice. I don't blame you for being hyped. Stefan said, which Endgame T-Mac do you think will be better? I think they'll pretty much be the exact same, but the point guard T-Mac is probably going to be cheesier. Player vs. Player says, Oko Dre missed Endgame Magic Johnson earlier for 100k. You've said that a lot. So, I know, but thanks for telling me again. TTV said, how many cards until Dirk? Less than 40. I'm not sure the exact number, but we're less than 40 cards away, so... Tomorrow, we're gonna spend some MT. We're gonna buy a lot of players. Well, not a lot of players, but you know, like 30-something players. We're gonna get Dirk, and then I can start selling back some players from my collection. Come here, Chris. Ah, uh, bad shot. Bum Bum says, Invincible Elgin Baylor or Terrence Ross? I've heard both of them are kind of mid. I've heard T. Ross isn't very good. So I don't know. I haven't used either one, but I do have both of them. I have both of them, but I'm just not sure which one's better because I haven't used either one of them. What up, Crazy Calvert? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Crazy Calvert? What's up, your friend Leland? And what's up, I love to hoop. What have I gotten so far out the vault? Um, a few Tony Parkers. I think two Tony Parkers. Um, one Terrence Ross. And tokens. Oh, come on, dude. No way I missed the game-winning shot. Nerve6 said, got Terrence Ross twice out of clutch time. That's really good. I've gotten him twice now, too. Not twice in this stream, but... You know, twice, yesterday and today, combined. Algi said, T. Ross said his card was garbage. Yeah, he did. He doesn't like his card at all. It's Savage said, 70,000 XP, Jokic getting close. Yeah, you're about halfway there. Tagaruni says, have you gotten D. Rose? I have not. The Embros said, you're the goat for this grind. I love your streams, A. Hey. I love doing these streams. The big reason why I love doing them is because I get to talk to you guys while I'm doing them. If I was just sitting here in silence, grinding triple threat, it wouldn't be the same. If I was just sitting here the other day, grinding clutch time, without saying a word or without talking to anybody or listening to anything, it wouldn't be the same. So I love doing this not only because I get to play the game, but because I get to talk to you guys while accomplishing these tasks like finishing clutch time or getting Pete Maravich or getting Jokic, getting Harden. Talking to you guys and chilling with y'all is what helps me get through these long grinds. So thanks to you guys for always being here because it wouldn't be the same without y'all. You guys make this fun. That 2K God said, got level 38 today. Nice, congrats. Cartier said, is Jokic worth it? Yes, he is. Really good. Baby says, I wanted LeBron to drop tomorrow. We're going to see LeBron eventually. But man, T-Mac and KD is still an amazing drop. That's a really, really good drop. I think we're going to see either Jordan and LeBron together or LeBron and D-Wade. Of course... I wouldn't be surprised if it's Jordan and LeBron, you know, two of the greatest players ever in the same drop. But it might also be 
you know, Jordan and Pippen, for example. Maybe LeBron and D-Wade. I was going to say LeBron and Kyrie, but I doubt they're going to give Kyrie an endgame card. I doubt it. I wonder if Kyrie's ever going to get a new card. I think he might get a Season 8 card. Maybe, but we'll have to see. Cartier said, good night, Doc. Good night, Cartier. Nerve6 said, do I get reset if I lose in clutch time? In clutch time, you only get reset if you lose three times in a row, so just don't lose three in a row and you should be good. If you do lose three in a row, then you get reset to the very bottom of your tier, so remember, there's like 10 different tiers. Zero wins, 10 wins, 20 wins. If you're at 29 wins and you lose three in a row, you go back to 20. Good shot. Tony said, bro, what the F? My team anniversary Kobe is 75,000? Yes, he is. I got him for less than 10,000 MT the weekend he dropped. So buy these my team anniversary players for cheap right when they come out because when they're gone, their prices, they're going to go way up for sure. What's up, Grayson? Plays. Welcome to the stream. Miami says I'd go bankrupt. I'd go bankrupt for endgame D Wade. I'm sure you would. I mean, after all, your name is Miami. Basball says I want a Curry endgame card so bad. I mean, I think he's gonna get one. Of course, we have Invincible Curry, but he deserves an endgame card. I think you'll get one. Hayden said, will Ja Morant get an endgame card? I think he'll get an Invincible. I'm not sure about an endgame, but yeah, at least Invincible, I think. Joshua says, I sold an extra shack for 45000 That's crazy. Yeah, like I said, guys, if you're going to buy these anniversary cards, buy them the day they come out or the day after because they sell for like 10000 when they first drop because they're not very good. Becca Rub said, what's the best one? The best anniversary card? Probably LaMelo. That LaMelo is really good, and Carmelo is not bad either. Haley said, hi CP, I'm at school, but we have free time. Hey, I appreciate you joining the stream during your free time. Welcome to the stream, Haley. Hope you're having a good day at school so far. I clipped says I'm 14 games away and unlimited. Should I go for Grand Hill? 14 games away, you might as well. It sounds like you've already decided to start going for him. 14 games away, that's nothing. M. Gillette said, How many wins left? I'm pretty sure 52 wins left. Yeah, 52, I'm pretty sure. We've only been live for an hour and a half, too, so. We've been winning these games at a pretty fast pace. We've been zooming through these games. Yeah, we're cool with that. One more three, and we only have 51 games left. Yeah, good shot. Wow. I don't like when players celebrate and the shot misses. That's been a thing in 2K for years now, but I guess it's not too big of a deal. Let's go ahead and win it right here. No way we miss again. Gotta green it. Gotta make sure I green the shot. Hoops with Tatum said, do you think Tatum will get an endgame card? We haven't gotten a new Tatum in a while. I wouldn't be surprised. I would not be surprised. Vinny says, why are you at school in the middle of July? I'm pretty sure Haley lives in Australia. If my mind serves me correctly. So yeah, for everybody wondering, why is she in school? I'm pretty sure it's because they live in Australia. Also, Usima. I really hope I pronounced that right. Thank you for the sub. Usima. Or Usema. Abakar said, how long does it take to get down nice Williams? A lot of hours. It takes a long time. I mean, if you win as fast as you can, it takes about six hours to win a hundred games. That's a lot. So yeah, that means it takes 
how many hours total? You got to win 20 games in one hour. Well, not 20 games in an hour, but 20 times you have to win 100 games, which takes about six hours. Let's go. So yeah, about 120 hours of grinding. 120 hours of grinding. Drippy Toast said, CP, how's your day been? Really good day, man. How about yours? Megan said, do you remember me? Yes. Megan said, CP, I'm back. Man, we have multiple Megans in the chat. That's crazy. Welcome back to the stream, both of y'all. Ashmel said, to get who? Um, down nice Williams. Of course, he meant Dominique Wilkins, but his spelling was a little bit off. A tiny bit off. Down nice Willems. What up, Peyton? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Try Me? I've had a great day, Try Me. Hope it's been a great day for you, too. Dalvin says, anything from the vault? Sadly, nothing great. We've gotten, like, two or three Tony Parkers. We got Terrence Ross earlier. Um, thankfully, no Elgin Baylors, but of course, a lot of tokens and no Derrick Rose yet. Hopefully, we can get Derrick Rose before we hit 2,000 wins. Basball says, I keep on getting three tokens. Yeah, man, three tokens. That's pretty much the go-to prize. We're probably going to get three tokens right here. Haley says, my name is actually Joe. Call me that when I chat. I'll do my best to remember that. I'll do what I can. All right, guys. We're officially down to our final 50 games. That's crazy. 50 games, and we're going to be at 2,000 for the rest of 2K22. Yo, Adrian. Welcome to the stream. Also, what's up, Mike? The Embros said, which one is better for the grind, Jokic or Harden? Before I answer that question, Tearful Way, thank you so much for the sub. You guys be like Tearful. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. I think that James Harden's the better player. Jokic, obviously, is a bigger mismatch at the point guard position. And honestly, I think grinding XP, if you have enough MT to buy the players that you need, I think in total, it takes less hours to get Jokic than it takes to get Harden. Actually, I don't know about that because if you finish domination, you get so much XP. So that's a big reason why we got Jokic so fast. But if you buy the My Team Anniversary cards, you can grind so much XP in such little time. Deep Dish Chris. That's a great name. Thank you so much for the sub. Making me want a deep dish pizza. Welcome to Doc Nation, Chris. But yeah, you guys let me know what you think. First of all, who's better, Jokic or James Harden? Second of all, which grind is easier? Because it felt like the Jokic grind wasn't very hard, thanks to the amount of XP I got from Kobe and Shaq challenges, Lamelo and Carmelo challenges, and of course the Giannis and Yao challenges. Hey, what's up, YBZ? Welcome to the stream. Mystic Jack says Jokic is better, and the Jokic grind is easier. Jokic, I feel like because of his height, you can definitely make the argument he's better, but I personally have more fun with James Harden. I'm seeing a lot of guys in the chat say Jokic is better, though, so, man. Both players are excellent, but personally for me, I think I prefer Harden because he's just more fun, more shifty, and I like his jump shot better. He and Jokic both fit my playstyle. I usually play Jokic at point guard with Harden at shooting guard, and sometimes I'll use Harden as my primary ball handler, kind of like a point guard, but Jokic will then end up being a guy who, you know, sits corner, he can run around screens and hit threes. Harden can too, but I love using them together, I think. So I think using Jokic at point guard is the better option, and then Harden at the shooting guard alongside Jokic, it works pretty well. Personally, I prefer Harden, but Jokic is a beast. Yeah, Terry said Jokic is good. Ashmel said Jokic is better, but both are excellent. 
Abakar says, I think go for Harden, then Jokic. Yeah, getting Harden, it's a tedious grind, but if you do get Harden, you get a lot of XP from playing Domination. So, after you get James Harden, it will definitely be easier to get Jokic. Another T. Ross. Not a bad pull, but yeah, if you get Harden, it'll be a bit easier to get Jokic. Haley said, my name is Job. I'll try to remember that. Izzy said, who's the worst endgame card? Hmm. Guys, I really hate to say this because every endgame card is obviously really good, but the worst endgame card, it's probably either Jokic or Harden, right? I mean, you guys debate in the chat. I'll see what you guys say, but it's got to be either Jokic or Harden. I think Weber's better than both of those guys. Weber's not perfect, but I think I do prefer Weber over both of them. Ashmel says the correct answer is to grind Jokic while grinding for Harden. Yes, sir. That's the way to do it, Ashmel. That's the way to do it. Of course, I asked you guys in the chat to pick one, but the smart thing to do is go for Jokic while going for Harden. Hey, what's up, Mighty2K? Welcome to the stream, my man. Haven't seen you in a minute, but it's good to have you back. Yeah, I see everybody in the chat saying Harden's the worst endgame card. And I really do hate to say it because I enjoy using him. I mean, every endgame card is great, but yeah, I, I do think Harden's got to be the worst one. Makes me sad to say, but all the other endgame cards are just so game-breaking. I mean, Giannis, Shaq, Kobe... Yao, Taco, JR. I can go on and on, but those guys are just so broken in comparison to Jokic and Harden and Weber. Alexander says, I remember when you grinded over 800 games for Danny Ferry. It really took us over 800 games to get him. Unbelievable. I remember that too. Alki said Harden's goaded in the right hands. I agree. I agree. He's just probably the worst endgame card. Which means he's still a top tier player in the game. Just among all the top tier cards, he's a bit low in the rankings. Hey, Megan! Thank you so much for the dono. A $2 dono for Megan. Can you please buy my Supernova Kobe for $29? i am trying. No. But thank you so much for the dono, Megan. Every single dono gets the chat hyped. YBZ is spamming dubs, Mystic Jack spams some dubs. Definitely not, but thank you so much for the dono. Silo said, what do you think of Dr. J? I think Dr. J is a lot of fun. Obviously, he's far from the best shooting guard, small forward in the game, but he's really good. Really, really good. Cassie said, should SGA get an endgame card? He probably won't. He did get a Season 8 card, though, who's surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. RKG said, how many wins away from Dominique? 48. 48 dubs away. Void said, Terrence Ross is a cool dude. 2K did him dirty. Yeah, Terrence Ross was not very happy with his, with his Season 8 card, which was pretty funny. Aspect said, we in Minnesota now. Double A1 said Dunktober JR is really good. I haven't used him, but I've heard he's really good. He's a point guard, right? He can play point guard, if I'm not mistaken. I've also heard he's not very expensive. Try me said, do you think Clay is gonna get an endgame card? Probably not, but I wouldn't be surprised. Maybe Curry and Clay both get endgame cards. Hoops with Tatum said, thoughts on Endgame Scotty Barnes? I low-key forgot about him. I mean, I see everybody getting so hyped about T-Mac, Durant, Taco, JR, Yao. I see so many people talk about those cards. I low-key forgot about Scotty Barnes. Obviously, Scotty Barnes is good. Like, he's a great Endgame card, but I kind of forgot about him. And I'm pretty sure he's not as expensive as he once was either. 
good shot. Jason said, do you think I can hit level 40? I'm only level 37. Yeah, 37 is pretty good. Kovac said, do you think Luka is going to get an endgame card? Maybe multiple endgame cards, honestly. Actually, nah. I mean, he's like 6'7". I think he'll get a point guard, shooting guard, endgame card. Faze Laser said, do you remember me? Yes, I do. Liam said, who's the best endgame card in your opinion? Right now, it's probably Giannis. After tomorrow, though, it might be KD. Especially that one who can play the point guard position. Walker says, any luck with the vault? Um, two Tony Parkers, two Terrence Rosses, a lot of tokens. So nothing amazing, but we're still going to make some good MT. Good shot. Peyton said, Taco's the best in my opinion. Yeah, Taco's great, and so's Yao Ming. If you think those guys are the best, it's understandable. Because they're, st they're, st they're just so good. For some people, they're going to think Giannis is the best, the one who can play the point guard, because, I mean, he's such a mismatch. He's 6'11", but can play the point guard. On the other hand, you have Yao and you have Taco, who can dribble like crazy. They can, you know, glitch up and down the court. They can hit threes. They can dunk on you. They have super fast releases. It depends on how you play the game and what you value more. A tall point guard or a tall big? Kovac says, if Luka gets an endgame card, I'm quitting 2K. I mean, prepare to quit 2K. I think it's almost a sure thing he's getting an endgame card. Hayden said, best knife filter? Probably either the Grizzlies or Opal, lowest bid. BHZ says, opinions on endgame magic. I've never used him. I've heard he's good, though. Faze Laser says, have you gotten Elgin Baylor yet? Yeah, I've gotten him three times. Seahawk says, will Damian Lillard ever get another Dark Matter? Only one is disrespectful. I think we'll see invincible Damian Lillard, but endgame? I don't know. Obviously, this season is the season where pretty much everybody who is in packs is getting an endgame card, invincible card, and a bunch of other random cards like Flash Glitch, Dunktober. So I don't know if we'll see a new dame. I want to say we will, but I don't know if we will. Maybe in those season eight packs, maybe in the season eight triple threat events, because we've gotten Shea Gilgis Alexander from those packs, you know, Chris Middleton, um, Ralph Sampson. Yeah, we might see those players in the season eight rewards in triple threat and clutch time, triple threat online. I think we'll be able to get those players from, yeah, the Season 8 promo. What's up, Matthew Steed? Welcome to the stream. Also, what is up, Tiffany? Endgame Kareem. Yeah, we'll see him eventually. I don't know when, but we will get an Endgame Kareem. And Jordan. And LeBron, obviously. Bird. Um, probably Elijah one. We'll see. Shaolin said they should definitely make Kyrie. I mean, you know, 2K could just give us new spotlights and they can make Kyrie a reward. Instead, I think they're going to make Kyrie a either Season 8 card or Invincible card. So, y'all know how they put Derrick Rose in Triple Threat Offline, Triple Threat Online. They did the exact same thing for Vince Carter. I think they're going to end up doing that with Kyrie Irving for one. Um, and maybe other guys like Steph Curry. You never know. What's up, Gabby K? Welcome to the stream. Your boy Joseph said, how you doing, Doc? I'm doing amazing, Joseph. How are you doing? Richard says, yo, Doc, just sniped 80 Hall of Fames. Is that good? Sadly, that's impossible. I mean, I don't, I don't think you can put Hall of Fame badges on the auction house. So, yeah, I think sniping 80 Hall of Fame badges, let alone even one, is just impossible. Matthew said, do you have Invincible Mark Eaton? I don't. Over 100 wins in clutch time this season. No Mark Eaton, man. It's terrible. Welcome to the stream, though, Gabby K. Joseph says, I'm doing good. Thanks for asking. Hey, 
That's what I'm here for, man. So many of you guys ask me how I'm doing, but how are you guys doing? Feel free to let me know. I hope you guys are enjoying the stream, having good nights, and man, we have over 580 people in here. You guys feel free to talk to me as much as you want to. I do my best to reply to as many messages as I can, and of course, we're trying to grow the channel every single day. Our sub goal for this stream is 32.6 thousand. Can we get there? I think we can. Zoran said, sorry I'm late. You're not too late. We still have over 40 games left to win, so over two hours of grinding left. Good defense. Mr. Maker said, yo, what's up, Mr. Maker? What's up, Manoli and TJ Watt? Welcome to the stream, my brothers. And Tice, welcome back. YBZ says, I'm chilling. That's good, that's good. And it's good to have you back in the streams, my man. YBZ is a big time OG. What's up, One Shot Sniper? What's up, Electric Ted? Speedy says, I'm just grinding XP, yes sir. I know a lot of you guys watching the stream are probably playing 2K right now, so y'all let me know what you're doing. Are y'all playing Clutch Time, going for Weber, TTO, grinding XP? Are any of you guys going for Dominique Wilkins or playing Triple Threat offline too? Y'all let me know. Also, Sieve, or is it Save? Either way, Royster, Thank you so much for the sub. I know how to pronounce that. Royster. Welcome to Doc Nation. Also, Silkies. Thank you so much for subscribing. My boy Sean says I'm playing Lego Star Wars. Hey, what do you think of that game? Because I've been thinking about buying it. It seems like a chill, fun game I can just play in my free time. If you're talking about the Skywalker Saga, but I've played the rest of the games. But the rest of those games are classics. Alexander says, I'm grinding triple threat offline for Rose. Jesse says, going for Harden. Also, yo, what's up, Jesse and Alex? Welcome to the stream. Hey, man. I wish you guys luck getting James Harden. Getting Harden, I wouldn't say it's hard. It's just tedious, man. Like, playing all 33 of those domination games, it takes a toll on you. It takes a big toll. You're going to get it done, but man, it's time-consuming. And I wouldn't say stressful, but definitely tedious. Gary says Endgame Matumbo would be fire. I wouldn't be surprised if we see Endgame Matumbo. I doubt it, because he's not like a super big name player like Giannis or Yao Ming. And he's not a super popular guy in 2K like J.R. Smith, for example. Or, you know, Taco. I would love to see Endgame Matumbo, but... Oh, I doubt it. I would love it, but I doubt it. Jack Jones said, grinding clutch time. Yes, sir. Hey, once you get those 100 clutch time wins, I think you'll be satisfied by Chris Webber. This card's a lot of fun. Great range, great handles, great defense. I mean, really good free endgame card. Easily the best out of all the free endgame cards. Brandon says, got James Harden one week ago, trying to get Weber right now, yes sir. Everybody who's going for Weber, like I said, I think you'll enjoy the card. If you're actually watching my gameplay, then you know that Weber's got that jumper. Great stealing, great shot blocking, great range. This card's pretty fun, that's why we're grinding with him right now. He helps us get through these games so fast because... In Triple Threat, all you gotta do is hit 7 threes and the game's over, so we're just casually shooting 7 threes and making all of them. Not missing very much. Jordan Poole said, how do you green contested shots? I mean, the same way you green open shots. You just gotta time them perfectly and get the, I mean really get your jump shot timing correctly. You green contested shots the same way you green open shots by getting it, getting the timing correct. Liam said, have you gotten the Derrick Rose out the vault yet? Sadly, no. I've gotten everything except for Derrick Rose. In this stream though, I've only gotten Tony Parker and Elgin Baylor. 
my boy Zoran said, like and sub to CP the Doc to grow his channel. Yes, sir. You guys listen to Zoran. You guys in the chat telling people to subscribe and like the stream. You guys are doing my job for me. I really do appreciate y'all. Hi, Doc. I'm a fan from Taiwan. Hey, shout out to Taiwan and welcome to the stream. I'm not going to lie. I cannot read your name, but shout out to Taiwan. And of course, I appreciate you tuning in. What's up, Solomand? Welcome to the stream. RJL said, is Chris Webber worth it? Yes, he's good. Now, grinding clutch time might be a little bit harder because we have so many insane cards in the game right now. I mean, we have a Giannis, or not a Giannis, but we have a Taco who can play the shooting guard. We have a Yao Ming who can play the point guard. We have a Shaq who can play point guard. I mean, we have such tall cards that can take up so much space and hit threes and defend. Playing clutch time now versus any of those insane teams might be tough, but if you're able to get Chris Webber, just know he's a lot of fun. Also, Jack Jones, thank you so much for subscribing. I missed your alert, so let's replay it now. Hey, what's good, Raphael? Welcome to the stream. One Shot Sniper said, what do you think about Elgin Baylor? I haven't used him, so going off of other people's opinions, I've heard he's not very good. Yeah, going off what other people have said about him, he's not that great. He's not terrible, but pretty much everyone's calling him mid. What's up, Rich? Welcome back to the stream. T-Max said, Doc Nation's the best nation. That's facts. Awesome community, man. The chillest community, for sure. You guys show up to the streams. We have fun talking in the chat. And y'all can talk about anything, man. Basketball, baseball, 2K. Y'all feel free to talk to me about anything, man. Box by Zoran said, like and sub. Youngblood said, how do you unlock Chris Webber? Clutch time. 100 wins in clutch time. Phase Laser says, what happens if you get 2,000 wins? You unlock Dominique Wilkins. That's what happens. My boy Mystic Jack said, sub goal, sub goal, sub goal. Nah, of course we get three tokens, but hey, according to Mystic Jack, we hit the sub goal less than two hours into the stream. That's an absolute dub. So let me go ahead and change the sub goal right now. Boom, 32.7. That's big time, ladies and gentlemen. So, real quick, shout out to everybody watching the stream right now. But also, shout out to everybody who has subscribed during this stream. You guys are awesome. You guys are awesome, man. Sub goal already. And we've only been going for about an hour 58. So, that's really good, man. Thank you guys for subscribing. And you guys keep on subscribing if you haven't already. Stream's not over yet. We have a lot of time left. We have a lot of games left to win, so let's not stop growing now. Speedy said, sub goal! Yeah, my boy Jack, he had to let us know that we hit the sub goal. My boy said, sub goal! Sub goal! Hey, I appreciate you bringing that up, Jack. I appreciate you, man. And of course, I love your energy, too. Unfiltered Truth said, dub, massive dub, Unfiltered. Massive dub. Big fat dub. It's Savage said 40 games away from the next deluxe pack. Yes, sir. That means you have like 1,860 wins, I think. I might be wrong. I can't remember all the rewards, but I'm pretty sure you have 1,860. Caden says, is it worth it going for James Harden? Yes. Yes, for sure. James Harden's really good. Now, well, earlier I did say he might be the worst endgame card, but he's still an endgame card. He still has 99 everything, 80 Hall of Fame badges. He's so good. He's definitely worth going for, and you don't really have to sweat to get him. Every game is versus the CPU. Miami said, read last. One second, one second, Miami. Let's see if I can get this stop on defense. Then I'll read your last. 
He got a green celebration on that too. I know y'all saw that. Good shot. All right, Miami. Let's go ahead and scroll back and see what you got to say. My boy Miami said, I can't find your message. I can't find your message. I must have skipped it. Mr. Jack, Miami. Miami said the Marlins are 2.5 games behind making a wild card appearance. Dude, I've noticed that. The Marlins have been on fire lately. And you know what other team has been on fire lately? The Orioles. The Orioles have been killing it. The Marlins have been killing it. That Braves division is probably the second best division in baseball. And the best division in the MLB is easily the Yankees, the Red Sox, of course, the Blue Jays. And then you've got the Orioles, who are in fifth place. But they're above 500 now. Good shot, baby. Four fifty four gaming says, I hate when I I hate when I hear people hate on you just because of your southern accent. That's a dumb reason to throw shade at a content creator. I haven't seen anybody hate on my accent. Maybe you have, but I haven't. And even when I do see people talk about my accent, I don't really hate it. I haven't seen any hate though. Cody said, Do you have endgame Kobe? I do not. I wish, but I don't have him. Jaden said, hey, Dick. Welcome to the stream, Jaden. Warriors fan said, how many wins? Um, 1,955, I think. Andy said, good night, Doc. Good night, Andy. You've been saying that for a long time. You've said that, like, at least 50 times. Good night. Good move. Gotta get open. Maybe I should call for a pick. Shoot a leaner. Tough shot. Jaden said, my bad doc, it's all good. I knew what you meant. So it's all good. Early. I guess he was tired. Call for that screen. There we go. Late. Man, three straight misses. We're not going to miss the rest of the game, though. Good shot. What's up, James Goyan? TMS said, how long did it take you to get Weber? Not very long. Um, I'm not sure how long the grind was total because I split the grind into, like, three streams. In one stream, I played ten games for fun after getting Jokic. Yeah, I think that was the stream I got Jokic. I played ten games. Then I played like 44 games in one stream a few days later. And then the other day I played 30 games in one stream. It's definitely over a 10 hour grind, but it's a pretty chill grind. Controller said, love the streams. Doc, I appreciate you, Controller. Warriors fan said, I'm Southern, I'm Southern too. That's a dub. Yeah, I've never seen anybody hate on my Southern accent. And even if they did, what am I supposed to do? Cry about it? I can't really control my accent or the way I talk. What's good, Zakai? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream, my brother Zakai. Gotta green that shot. Warriors A Cash said, Yo, what's good, Warriors? Welcome to the stream. Logan said, Good night, Duck. Doc. And good luck on the grind. I've seen so many people in the stream call me Dick, Duck. So I said duck by instinct right there. Have a good night, Logan. Richard says, if you get Tony Parker, he's really good in the right hands. In my hands, I'm selling him for like 8,000 MT. I've heard he's not bad, but yeah, I'm definitely selling mine for 8,000 MT. No question. Good shot, good shot. Liam says, I love your accent. I appreciate that. I see more people say they love my accent than people who hate it. Faze Zerp says, you got Dominique yet? Um, that's why we're still playing. Haven't gotten him yet. Also, you spelled Dominique wrong. James said, hello from Philippines. Doc, have a great day. Right back at you, man. You too. Fishalot said, what's up, Doc? What's up, Fishalot? 
Welcome to the stream. Also, what's up, Jaden? Night Fury said, what's your favorite snack? I don't really eat snacks. Let me think. What is my favorite snack? Hmm. Probably those barbecue pop chips. I'm not sure if y'all have ever had pop chips, but those are good. They're an underrated snack. Very healthy. I don't really like unhealthy snacks. I'd say pop chips is the best one. ZGA says, you talk like a real doc. I mean, I did major in neuroscience, so yeah, maybe that's why. I also majored in broadcasting communications, so some people tell me I have the voice of a sportscaster. Nor said those are fire. I'm telling you, man, pop chips are good, but the best ones are by far the barbecue ones. And those, man, they're like 3% fat. Every bag of chips. And they are some of the best barbecue chips ever. No question. Grace Yella says, I got two invincible Elgin Baylors. A. Hey, I've gotten three. I'm probably never going to use any of them, though. Mad Have says, Are you still in college? Yes. Nancy said, How many games are you at? We are at. How many? I think we have like 41 games left. I might be counting wrong, but we have like 40, low 40s games left. Cade said, what do you do when you pull multiple Elgins? You want to see my reaction? Here's my reaction to getting my first Elgin Baylor. Here's my reaction to getting my second Elgin Baylor. Here's my reaction to getting my third Elgin Baylor. Yeah, that's pretty much how it went. Puru said, just got Dominique Wilkins. Nice. Grace Yellis says, I mean three. I got two yesterday, one today. So we both have three Elgin Baylors. Nice. Double J said, what's up, Doc? What's good, Double J? Welcome to the stream. Good move. Gotta green that shot. Not Hydra says, I haven't seen you drink any water. I did like two minutes ago. I'll drink water again soon, don't worry. Warriors fan said, how many D roses have you gotten? About zero. Ah, gotta block that. Matan said, how do you get him? Um, Dominique Wilkins, 2000 triple threat wins. Savage says, I have 16 Elgins. That's crazy. Walker says, I got Ralph from the vault. I've gotten him once from the vault. One time. I've gotten Ross like three times. Man, we've only seen Samson once though. What's up, Jonathan? Welcome to the stream. Kid Cuddy dropped. Just finished listening to that. Also got Harden today. Nice. Welcome to the stream, Jonathan. Also, what's up, Joanne and Coltster? Coltster says, I'm only 5,000 XP away from joking. Hey man, let me know when you decide to make that joke. My man's 5,000 XP away from making a joke. No, I'm kidding. That's big though. Elizabeth said, relaxing in my slippers, watching Doc before bed. That sounds like a dub. What time is it where you're at, Elizabeth? For me, 1214. We should be done playing around like... I want to say like 2.15 my time. Sasuke said the vaults never open. Whenever the vaults do open, it's usually tokens though, but... Yeah, my vault odds have not been the best today. Nor said... Nor said said, I hope the Raptors get KD this season. Honestly... I don't think the Raptors really need KD. They have such a good foundation in place. They have really good young guys. If they do get KD, I think that would push them over the top. But the guys they have right now have such good chemistry. They're so fun to watch. They play together. They play great defensively. KD to the Raptors would be interesting, but the core they have is also really good already. Hey, what's up, Tavon? Welcome to the stream. 
Pig Nation said how many wins? I'm pretty sure it is 1,960, but we'll check after this game. I usually don't pay attention to the win count unless we're getting really close to our goal, but I want to say we have like 1,960 wins, but we'll check. We'll check after this shot. If I make it. And we do. Elizabeth said 1015. Warriors fans said 116. Got you. So Warriors fans on the East Coast, and then Elizabeth's all the way on the West Coast. Star said, who you got winning the West next season? Star, I think it's between the Clippers and the Warriors. I want to say Elgin Baylor. I want to say the Warriors because they were so good this past season, and they're still going to have Curry, Clay, Draymond, Wiggins, hopefully all healthy. They re-signed Looney, and of course they're going to have Wiseman healthy, who I think makes a big difference for them, if healthy. Man, we'll have to see, because they did lose Gary Payton, they also lost Damian Lee. They've lost multiple guys off the bench like Otto Porter too, but I mean, they're so well coached. They have such a good foundation and they still have a bunch of their key players. So I think it could be the Warriors, but in terms of the most talented roster, I think that's gotta be the Clippers. The Mavericks also improved. The Suns are still gonna be pretty good, I think. We'll have to see. Hayden said Mavericks winning the West. I would love that. I'm a huge Luka fan. I would love that, but I would also love to see John Wall, Paul George, and Kawhi make it to a finals. That'd be pretty cool, too. Good shot. Damien said, yo, what's up, Doc? How many games? How many games left? Man, I was just supposed to check. I was literally just supposed to check, but I kind of forgot to. Oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah, I literally told you guys I was going to check, but I didn't. I literally just spammed the A button and kept on playing. I just moved on to the next one without even checking. Speedy said, Baylor. I know, man. Elgin Baylor, really? Give me D. Rose. Good block. Do you think Endgame KD is going to be a broken card? Yes, I do. Especially the one who can play the point guard. That point card, that point guard KD is going to be amazing. Warriors fan said, what time is it for you? 12-18. Adam said 39. Brick said 39 more wins. I appreciate you guys paying attention because I wasn't. I literally just pressed the A button and moved on to the next game. 39 wins left. So we've won 41 games in a little over two hours. That's pretty good. That's pretty good pacing. Scooby says, I've played 12 games and the vault hasn't opened yet. We began this stream on a really big vault not opening streak, so I promise it's not just you. The vault is just so wishy-washy for everybody. Booski said, got Pete Maravich twice. What do I do with him? I mean, it's your decision. You could save him for a future exchange, but we're probably not going to get many future exchanges. So either send him to the exchange, you know, as a, in, and what am I trying to say here? If there's an exchange that needs jazz cards, I guess you could use him as a jazz card. Or if there's an exchange that needs, you know, any card, you could send him there. Or you could quick sell him for 3000 MT. You really don't have many options. Tavon said, how do you get Dominique? Uh, 2,000 wins in triple threat. Endgame Jokic says, level 38. Do you think I'm going to get Jokic? Probably not. Not sure if there's enough time. Verp Pops said, good night, CP. Good night, Verp. You have a good night, my man. Take it easy. Got to block that. Icy Vibe said, how long did it take to get Endgame Harden? About 16 hours of grinding in total. Not including error codes, about 16 hours. Eh, no, more like 15 and a half. About 15 hours, 15 and a half hours. It's a super easy grind, especially if you have a good team. 
Gotta make that. Brandon said, how do you get level 40 faster? Um, by grinding XP challenges faster. That's pretty much how you do it. Good shot. Controller said, good night, Doc. Good night, controller. Booski says, I'm just gonna grind offline now for Rose. I hope you get him. I hope you get him because no luck yet for me. I haven't even seen him yet. Good shot. Joshua said, honestly, you're a grinder grinder. I appreciate that. Yeah, I mean, every game mode I enjoy playing. Except Unlimited. Not a big fan of Unlimited. I'll get the grand prize every now and then, but I'm just not a big fan. Joanne said, when's NBA 2K23 coming out? Um, September 7th, I'm pretty sure. Either the 7th or the 9th. One of those days. John Morant said, good night. Good night to you too, Ja. Take it easy and I'll see you again soon. Hopefully. I'll be live again tomorrow. Maybe you'll be there. Good shot. Brayden said, could you explain beyond level 40? Okay. If you get level 40, you can do challenges with the level 40 card and other cards to get another card that's available in other game modes like Triple Threat or Triple Threat Online if you complete all the challenges. Walker said, just play it against Derrick Rose. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that's a good sign you'll actually get him. Elizabeth says, I don't like Unlimited either. I know very few people who actually enjoy playing it. Very few people. Max Kid says, have you gotten any vault rewards? I've gotten every single reward here except for Rose. And in this stream, I've gotten Elgin Baylor. I've also gotten, um... Man, who are the other guys? Tony Parker and Ross. Multiple times, too. Raw Garden said, good night, Doc. Good night, Raw Garden. What up, Salt Funny? Welcome to the stream. Superior Gamer says, what filter do I use to find cards with challenges in the auction house? There is no filter. Just go to your challenges, and if it says use any, you know, taco for a challenge, type in taco and get a taco. If it says use any Dark Matter Giannis for a challenge, go to the auction house and search Dark Matter Giannis. There's not really a filter, there's just, you know, common sense. Bricks2k said is Elgin good. I've heard he's really not. I've heard he's not bad. But I've heard he's not great either, so I'm probably never going to use him. Maybe offline, but yeah. Never online, probably. Good luck. Silo said, what do you think of Dr. J? You asked the exact same thing earlier. I thought I answered it. See if I can get a three here. Nah, I might miss that. Rizzy said, how much should I sell Ralph Sampson for? Um, whatever the lowest price for him is, that's probably the price you should sell him for. If he's worth like 20,000 at cheapest, and you try to sell him for like 100,000, you're probably not gonna sell him successfully, so it's really your call. Warriors fan says, I don't like playing Unlimited at all. It gets so sweaty. Easily the sweatiest game mode in my team. Of course, Clutch Time's also super sweaty. Triple Threat Online's also super sweaty, but yeah, Unlimited's different. Endgame Jokic said, should I stop grinding? Definitely, yeah. If you're level 38 with only what? Four weeks left in the season? It's pretty much a lost cause. Definitely a lost cause. Only level 38. If you're not 40 by now, you're a weirdo. Clearly. LA2K said, good night, Doc. Good night, Landon. Jaden says, are you no money spent? Yes, I am. Aspect says, I beat the last level of domination, but I can't beat the fifth to last game. I can't remember what game that is, but... Use the exact same strategy you used when you just won the game that against the final team. And you should be fine. 
Justin said, will there be beyond level 40 this season? Probably, yeah. I mean, we've had it for the past few seasons. I'm sure 2K will bring it back again. I don't see why not. Speedy says, I'm level 37. Oh, you can definitely get it. Yeah, Speedy, level 37 is great, but level 38, trash. No chance. Also, Airy Golan. I missed it at first, but thank you so much for the dono. My man says, I got 2.5 million MT. Ready for endgame T Mac and KD tomorrow. Man, I'm not gonna lie to you, Airy. I'm not very excited about either player because I don't really open packs. I appreciate the dono though, my man. Thank you so much for the $10. One of our biggest donos of the stream. Yeah, KD and T Mac are gonna be great. Once I finish sniping all the way to a million MT, I think then I'll pick up one of those cards. If I had to pick one I'm more excited about, it probably is going to be KD. I like T-Mac, but KD all time, probably my favorite player. Not my favorite player, but the player I prefer out of the group of, you know, KD and T-Mac. Jaden said, just noticed I needed to like. Hey, that's right. You guys make sure to drop a like if you haven't already. I haven't said that in a long time, but yeah, every single like, every single sub helps the channel grow. We have 569 people in here and yeah, I know for a fact, not everybody has liked or subbed, so y'all know what to do if you're enjoying the stream. None of your business said, what up? Bama Bala, what's up? None of your business. Welcome back to the stream. Double J says, I'll let my kids hit the button for the vault. It's fun seeing their reaction when it opens. Man, they're probably like, oh. Yeah, when your kids open the vault, they're probably like, oh, Yes! Yes! And then, three tokens. Come on, Ronald. Give these kids something to get hype about, man. The vault animation when it opens is so good. But then it's so anticlimactic when it's freaking three tokens. Come on, Ronald. Fun said how many wins. I'm not gonna lie. I've lost count, but I know we're like... Like less than 40 wins away from Dominique, but I really haven't kept count of our dubs. Nathan said, should I go for Wilt Chamberlain? He's really good. I mean, there's no reason not to, but it might cost a lot of MT now to actually get him. Jaden said, where are you from? I'm an Alabama man. I'm from Montgomery. Jay Ban said the doc. What's up, Jay? Welcome to the stream. Pat said, do you think the Invincible T-Max is going to go down in price? Most likely, yes, because we're probably going to get another Invincible T-Max, too. What's up, Wykus? Welcome to the stream. Brooks said, what all did you get? So far this stream, we've gotten a couple Tony Parkers, a couple Terrence Rosses, um, a, a lot of tokens, and one Elgin Baylor. Lil Codeine said, only real ones know that Doc is homies with Dominique. That's right, Dominique follows me on Instagram. We've taken a few pictures together. I've met him at a few, you know, charity events, Hawks games. Dominique's pretty cool. Shout out to him for following me on Instagram. It's Savage said, we in Minnesota now. Also, we have 35 games left for anybody who's wondering. B Diddy said, I bet there's going to be a Rockets Invincible T-Mac tomorrow. I agree. And we're probably going to see a My Team Anniversary Spurs T-Mac. Maybe even a Hawks or a Knicks T-Mac. You never know with these anniversary cards. YBZ said, Cody, yes, sir. We got YBC and Cody in the building. Box by Zoran said, did you play basketball in high school? Yes. I didn't play in college, though. I got one offer to play in college, so. It was a D3 school, and D3 schools, they don't give full athletic scholarships, so. That would have been a lot of money to pay to play basketball. Sin City said, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Facts. 
I don't say it I definitely don't say it enough. So I appreciate you guys in the chat always saying it for me. So Sin City, thank you so much for the $5 dono, my brother. You guys listen to him. And if you're enjoying the vibe of this stream, just know I stream like this all the time. I post videos, I stream. I love making content for y'all. So if you're enjoying this stream, just know there's a lot more where it came from. A lot more. Great shot. Monkey said, you are a QT. I'm not. You are a liar. I've come to terms with the fact that I'm a very weird looking dude. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I'd give myself like a 6 out of 10. I'm going to shave soon. And after I shave, I'll probably be like a 5. I don't, I don't know. I guess it depends on how big of a deal facial hair is to you. Hex Dev Dog said, just got super fractured. Roy Holiday, dub L or N. Codeine says dub. Mystic said, stop capping, you're a 10. Maybe with facial hair, if you're into that, but I don't know. Gotta give myself a solid seven or six. Fish a lot said, hey doc, you like 99 Swish Josh Smith? Yeah, I do. I mean, I don't use him very often, but he's fun. Excellent defender, you know, solid athlete. Yeah, all around pretty good player. Jada Goat said, yo doc, can you shout out a young streamer who averages five to 10 viewers? No. x said, doc, you're very cute. I appreciate the compliments, but you guys gotta chill. You guys gotta get off the weed. Wouldn't say I'm ugly, but come on. Y'all are definitely overhyping me. Slick said, yo, remember me? Yes, I do. Critical says, you get any good cards from the vault? This stream, we've gotten every card except for Derek Rose and Ralph Sampson. Also, this is taking forever. I'm not sure if you guys have been paying attention to this, but this is taking forever. I kind of want to close the app, but it could load any second now. Why is it taking so long to load? This is triple threat offline on the next gen console. We'll give it 10 more seconds. Yeah, like 10 seconds, but this is awful. This is offline triple threat on a next gen console. There's no reason it should be taking this long to load, so we're going to go ahead and hop out and hop back in. Xavery says, got Invincible Luca for 100k. Wavy Season said, what's good, Doc? What's up, Wavy? Also, what's up, Reginald? Welcome to the stream. Just came back. How many wins you got? Let's check. Let's check. I want to say we have like 35 games left, maybe 34, but... Yeah, something like that. Should take us a little less than two hours to get the job done. Another new sub, Nefarious Disciple. Now that's a name. Thank you so much for the sub, Nefarious. You guys be like him. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. The Embros said, Good night, Doc. Can you answer my question before I go to bed? Should I sell Power Forward Invincible Giannis? Your decision. Fizzle said, what's a player you want to have a Dark Matter? Hmm. I mean, all the players who I want to have Dark Matters have Dark Matters pretty much. Oh, shot meter. Let's turn that off real quick. My favorite players of all time are, you know, Carmelo, Kobe, D-Rose, guys like that. Hmm. Big fan of Paul Pierce. Also a fan of Luka. Let me think. There are some more low-key players who I wish had better cards. I've always been a big fan of, you know, Trey Burke, Quinn Cook, guys like Harry Giles, Luke Kennard. If any of those guys had Dark Matters, that'd be pretty cool. Big fan of Arvita Sabonis. He has a Dark Matter. Most of the players I like, most of the star players I like at least, have Dark Matters. Ah, gotta make that. Codeine says we need a Dark Matter Jared Solinger or Jordan Nawara. I doubt we get those cards, but you never know. Anything's possible. 
like KG once said. Anything's possible. Lil Codeine said, Aiden's not going to the Pacers no more. Yeah, so that video you made, kind of invalidated, but probably still a pretty good video. Haven't watched it yet. Monkey says, imagine if Solomon Hill had a dark matter. Man, you never know. Maybe he could still get a dark matter, but I'm pretty sure the best card Solomon Hill has this year is like a gold. B. Diddy says, I wonder who the limited player is going to be. They said, Invincible Choice Pack. Hey, I don't know who it's going to be, but hopefully they give us somebody pretty good. Last season, it was Bobon and OG Ananobi. Those guys were pretty good. Those cars were pretty fun. It's Savage said, Good night, CP. Good night, Savage. Orange Juice said, I thought you were joking about Dominique following you on Instagram. I wasn't. Dominique follows me on Instagram. Terrence Ross follows me on Twitter. Um, House of Highlights follows me on Instagram. I was not joking. A bunch of D1 basketball players follow me on Instagram too. Taven Lovin, Tamel Pearson, Josh Zippiel. Man. Jamie Mello said, Doc is killing it, yes sir. We've been zooming through these games. YBZ said, is that Splash? Of course it's Splash, YBZ. It is the splash. Ashmel said, shit, you know who doesn't follow you on Instagram? A lot of people. But if you're talking about yourself, I'm going to follow you back. Oh, come on. No way I'm missing wide open threes like that. <sighs> it's all good. We're being guarded by Thanasis. It should be easy buckets the whole game. What's up, Nathaniel? Welcome to the stream. Boxed by Zoran said, Endgame CP the Doc. That'd be hilarious. I would love to see a concept card for Endgame CP the Doc. James! Welcome to the Doc Nation! Superstars! I was a tiny bit late reading that message. Manzi, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation, Manzi. But James, thank you so much for buying the Doc Nation channel membership. Wykus said, do you remember me? Yes. It's pretty hard to forget a name, Wykus. Yeah, some of you guys who have, like, really unique names, y'all ask if I remember you, but, like, there's no way I can forget a name like Wykus, for example. No offense. If that's your real name. There was this one guy who joined my stream, and his name was Dovidas, and he was like, do you remember me, Doc? And I was like, dude, your name is Dovidas. And I read your name out loud all the time. How can you forget a name like Dovidas? Basball for Life said, I just dropped you a follow on Instagram. I appreciate you, Basball. Yeah, you guys make sure to follow me on Instagram. On Instagram and Twitter, I need to start following a lot of people back. So you guys maybe follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm trying to grow on there a little bit, and maybe I'll follow you back, because I'm trying to start following more people. What's up, Minty? Ninja Gabe said, the best stream I've seen in a while. I appreciate that so much, Gabe. Nah, every stream is so much fun, man. I have a great time playing the game, whether it's online or offline. Of course, I try to talk to you guys as much as I can. Gameplay is kind of secondary to talking to you guys and reading all the chats I can. Hunter said, have you gotten a Snapchat from a girl yet? Nah, Hunter. I'm a 23 time, no getting a Snapchat from a girl champion. 23 straight years, no Snapchats from girls. But I have three Endgame cards and another Tony Parker. Three Tony Parkers now this stream. Ashmel said, this is the best stream I've seen since since the last doc stream facts man that stream on tuesday was good we got jerry west i got hyped good times man ninja gabe said do you play basketball in real life i actually do i'm posting a basketball video tomorrow my very first summer league basketball video since last year episode one well technically episode three is dropping tomorrow 
and then episode four is gonna drop early next week and yeah i'm trying to post those videos consistently i think i'm gonna post my first summer league video since last year tomorrow and my second one since last year obviously i'm gonna try to post that on like i'm thinking next wednesday next tuesday around that time maybe tuesday mystic jack said what did you pull from the next deluxe pack i'm glad you asked i got um benedict Mathurin. i got the benedict it would have been crazy if i would have gotten chet or you know paolo jabari smith but i got the benedict which is not the worst it would have been nice if it was someone better you know dyson daniels for example but at the end of the day y'all know I just needed cards for collector level, so I'm just glad I got a new card I didn't have yet. Elizabeth said stream tomorrow. There's a, hmm, there's like a 60% chance because I gotta finish editing the Summer League basketball video. But I do think I'm gonna stream. I think we'll stream tomorrow and we'll get that endgame Dirk tomorrow. If not tomorrow, we'll do that Saturday, but... There's like a 75% a chance I do that tomorrow in, instead of Saturday. Dreams said, I love just vibing late night with your streams. Hey, I love doing the same thing, Dreams. And of course, having you guys in here makes the grind so much better, so much easier. Good shot. Hayden said, do you think John Morant will get a new Dark Matter? He might get a new Invincible card. Endgame? I don't think so, but Invincible? Maybe. What's up, Twitch? Welcome to the stream. Pat OG said, do you think Jason Tatum is going to get an Invincible card? I do. He had such a good season, man. Took his team to the finals. Had some great performances along the way. I think he will. Izzy says, what time is it for you? It is 12.42. AM. Whew. Yeah, I think this stream should be done around like 2.15. 2.15, 2.10. A little over four hours long. Michael Sanchez said Doc deserves his own late night 2K show. I mean, clearly it would do well. 522 people in here right now. We've been averaging over 500 for the last few streams. Man, those late night 2K shows would pull some big numbers. I can sit here, talk about the game. I could do a podcast talking about basketball. We would rack up some numbers. I love streaming at night, man. Then again, I love streaming during the day too. Really any time of the day. Hi said hi. What's up, hi? Welcome back to the streams. Ish Smith says we need endgame Ish Smith. That'd be hilarious. I'm pretty sure his best card's like a gold card. Patrick Ty said, the late, late CP show. That'd be so fun. That'd be a lot of fun. I feel like I have the voice for it. Mahan said, who's your favorite card in the game? Favorite card? It's gotta be this Chris Webber. As he misses a wide open three. He's gotta be my favorite, but he will miss a wide open one every now and then. It's weird, but he's still really good. I promise. Zakai said, you're so good with names. Man, I do my best. Whenever I see a name in the chat, especially if the person talks consistently, I'm pretty good at remembering names. I feel like I'm not bad at pronouncing them, but every now and then I see a few names that just stump me. I do my best though. Darb says, I'm watching you while grinding for James Harden. Yes, sir. How far along are you? How many games you got left? No matter what, I appreciate you being here. And good luck with your grind. Zakai said, half the teachers at my school can't even pronounce it. Man, come on. The teachers at your school, what could they possibly be saying? Zakai? 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 I feel like that's a pretty easy name to say. To be fair though, I do have a friend named Zakai, so I actually know someone named Zakai, so maybe that's the reason why I'm better at pronouncing it, but 
it's not the same spelling as yours. Your name is pretty obviously Zakai. Joshua Hafler says, I bet you'll say my last name wrong. I probably did. Hafler, Hafler, Hefler. Those are a few possible pronunciations. Elizabeth said, good night, Doc. If you join tomorrow, I'm a join, but I feel like just lurking. Hey, I'll see you tomorrow then, Elizabeth. Also, Cam Cleck. Thank you so much for the sub. He said, do you remember me? I've read the name Cam Cleck before. You don't talk in the chat too much, but I do remember. Also, Treshunda. Really hope I pronounced that right, too. Thank you so much for the sub, Treshunda. Joshua said, it's Hey Fleur. Man, almost got a first try. Almost. I was close. Joshua Hayfler. Dope name. D'Lo says, bought Scotty for 300k. Scotty Barnes? That is a dub. Endgame Scotty for 300k is definitely a dub. It's crazy how much cheaper he's gotten. Static Dello! Thank you for subscribing. You guys be like Static. Be like... Trashunda, and subscribe if you haven't already. We've gained so many new subs this stream already. Earlier, we hit our sub goal of 32.6 thousand, but we have so many people in here, and I know not all of you guys are subs, so if you're enjoying the stream, you know what to do. Maybe you can help us hit that sub goal one more time. Nor said that's a dub. Yeah, 300k for Scotty Barnes. That's crazy. That's gotta be a, that's gotta be a good deal. How much is he going for? Is it really 300k now, or is he going for like 500, 600? I haven't checked his price in a while, so I don't know what it is. Elizabeth said, "I'm gonna stay a little bit longer because you're a walking dub, man. You're a walking dub too. If you want to go and get your sleep, I understand, but you're staying a bit longer." That's awesome. John ja Goat said, John ja Morant needs a new card for real. I agree. I agree, yeah. John ja Morant, he had an amazing season. He won Rookie of the Year. Then he won Most Improved Player this year. I could see him possibly winning MVP in the future, man, because he's so fun to watch. He puts up great numbers, and he's improving every season. So, I can definitely see John ja Morant winning an MVP in the future, and... Maybe even being on the cover of 2K. I thought he would be this year, but I was wrong. It was Book. Ethan said, what state do you live in? Alabama. Antonio says, I've never seen anybody with this card. How far are you away from him? About 30 games. Yeah, about 30 games, maybe less after I hit this shot. Nah, man, I've also never seen anybody use this card. Jason said, hey CP, what's good? Jason, welcome to the stream. Fallon says, I'm going to stay here the whole time. I'm not sleeping till you get him. Hey, that's love right there, man. Hang around. It shouldn't take us too much longer to get him. Cole with a K. Thank you so much for the sub. Ray said, what tips do you have for 2K? Um, what do you mean by tips? Like gameplay tips, sniping tips. Tips on how to save up MT, build your team. There's just so many different aspects of the game that I feel like I can give you guidance with. Miami said Luca's son, D Book, is the cover. Yeah, I saw on Twitter that Luca and D Book are the first father son duo to be on the cover in 2K history. That's funny. Ray said gameplay tips. I mean, the best way to get better at the game, I know this is a very generic thing to say. It's definitely by practicing, you know, just playing versus the CPU. Some of you guys might be like, man, why play versus the CPU? That's boring. But if you get really, really good at playing versus the CPU, then you'll learn strategies to score on the CPU easily. You're going to learn strategies to, you know, defend the CPU and lock them up. And you get what I mean? Like the better you play versus the CPU, you will learn strategies and ways to score and defend real people. Of course, not all people play like CPUs and like really, really good players play much differently than CPUs do. But like 
learn how to play versus bots before playing versus real dudes. And then as you play versus real guys online, you will learn their tendencies, you'll learn how to defend them, and of course, save up MT along the way so you can, you know, buy cards to improve your team and get better versus people online. So at the end of the day, it really does come down to just practicing, playing the game a lot, getting a bunch of reps in offline and then online once you really get a hang of playing versus the CPU. Hayden said best way to get tokens. I think it's got to be triple threat online because in triple threat online, not only is 10 tokens a reward on the top board, but you also see like five tokens, six tokens, seven tokens from the bottom board all the way through the top. So I'm thinking triple threat online, but also saving up MT and locking in collections for tokens. You get like 300 tokens for almost every lock-in, every premium lock-in, but if you save up MT and buy some of the, you know, cheap NBA Series 1 dynamic rating collections, you can also get like 25 tokens for each of those collections too. Hayden said, is Dr. J good? He's really good. Worth a thousand tokens? Eh, sure, he's really good. Kind of disappointing as the best, you know, token reward in the game, but still a good card nonetheless. Dominic said, how much longer do you think it'll take to get Dominique? First, let's see how many games are left. 28. I'm thinking about one and a half hours. Yeah, about an hour and a half. If we win every game fast. Solo said, do you think the reward should be an end game instead of invincible? Eh, I think in triple threat, it's okay that the reward's invincible because unlimited, the reward's invincible. Limited, invincible. Triple threat online, invincible. Draft, invincible. Pretty much every game mode except for clutch time and, you know, domination has an invincible reward, so... I think it's okay that the triple threat offline reward is not invincible because in my opinion triple threat's probably the easiest game mode in 2k so i think for the easiest game mode it's good that the reward's invincible but i don't think it should be end game especially when all the other game modes have invincible rewards too except clutch time i kind of wonder why the clutch time players is end game and not the unlimited player but it's not a big deal Rex says, I got 266 tokens. What's the best thing to spend them on that isn't players? Hmm, probably badges. I know some people like to buy gold badges or silver badges on the, on the token market and then sell them back and make profit. I'm not sure if that's still a good strategy, but a few weeks ago, I saw a lot of guys doing that. What's up, Kyle C? Welcome to the stream. Hey Land said, is Chris Webber good? He's really good. Whole lot of fun. Fast jumper, great handles, gets really good separation off the dribble, excellent defense, a lot of fun. Probably my favorite player in my team right now, and easily the best free endgame card in 2K. Dominic says, you're my favorite 2K streamer. Man, that means the world to me. I say all the time that there's just so many great 2K streamers out there. Knowing I'm someone's favorite means a lot, because there's a lot of goats in this community. Kayland said, is Chris Webber good? Yes. Caleb says, I'm 11 wins away from Webber. Nice. 11 wins is nothing. You should have him by the end of the night. Or however long you decide to continue playing. What up, too many bands? Welcome to the stream. Kyle said, I'm good. How you been? I've been good. I can't complain. I've been real good. Pig Nation said, what's the best 2K you've played? My personal favorite is 2K13, but the best is probably 2K16 or 2K12. Those two games were really well made. Nowadays, 2K, I feel like sometimes they care a bit more about making money than actually, you know, giving you a variety of stuff to do. Back in 2K13, man, they introduced my team. There was the association, which was so much fun. There was online blacktop, creating a legend, along with my career, quick play. And of course in 2K12, there were the NBA legend challenges with Bird, Wilt, Kareem, Jordan, 
in 2K11, there was the Michael Jordan challenges. I mean, we don't have stuff like that in the game anymore. Some of my favorite game modes of all time were in 2K12 and 13, and they're just not in the game anymore. So, yeah, 16 was good, 12 and 13, and 11 were good. Man, outside of that, I've enjoyed 2021 and 22 pretty much, like a lot, but definitely not as much as I enjoyed 2K13, but that might just be nostalgia because there was a lot wrong with 2K13. Nor said, hey, 2K13 was fire. The association was hella fun. Yes, it was. It was you, you know, your friends, and a bunch of CPU NBA players like LeBron, Rose, Kobe. You go online and play versus other, you know, my career guys and NBA players. It was so fun. And creating a legend. It was basically my career with NBA players. You could choose Luke Walton from the Cavaliers, save up VC or skill points, and upgrade him all the way up to a 99 overall, make it to the Hall of Fame, win championships with a player lock on that player. It was literally my career with any person in the game. Luke Walton, LeBron, Jordan, you could take players like Magic Johnson, who weren't in the NBA anymore, and assign them to like the Lakers, the Clippers, the Kings, any team you wanted to. That was so much fun. I wish that was still in the game, but it doesn't make 2K money, so that's why it's not in the game anymore, I don't think. Amari said 2K13 was my first 2K ever. Hey man, pretty much same for me. My first 2K was 2K12, but I got 2K12 like one month before 2K13 came out, so I played 2K12 for a little bit, got a feel for it, and then got 13. And yeah, that's right, Rajdeep. The cover was fire. Rose, KD, and Blake Griffin. KD was on the cover a lot. 2K15, 2K13. He was almost on the 2K17 cover, I think. Hutch said which one's better, point guard or small forward Giannis. I've heard the point guard Giannis is better. I've never used him, though. Solo said, gotta head out. Thanks for the amazing stream. Man, thank you for being here. It has been a great stream. Not over yet, but I know you guys got to get some sleep for sure. Nor said, Luke Walton and the Cavs. That was the good times. Yeah, man. Early 2010s. Really fun time for the NBA. Peter said, do you think Russell Westbrook will be better than Dominique Wilkins in 2K21? You mean 2K22? I don't know. Will we even see a new Westbrook card? I think we're going to see an Invincible, but I'm not sure. RB said, is Endgame Jokic good? Yes. Colin said, yo, what's up, Doc? How are you? I'm doing amazing, man. How are you doing? Speedy says, you're sleeping on 2K17. I didn't play 2K17 much, honestly. I played 2K12 and 13 a lot. I played 14 a lot. But 15, 16, 17, I feel like I played those a little bit more casually. And then in 2K18, I tried to get back into it and play 2K18 a lot. But, I mean, it wasn't a good game. Defense was terrible. And it was just, ugh, just not a very well-made game. And of course, during 2K18, Fortnite got really big. So all my friends and I started playing Fortnite. And that's, of course, when I began my YouTube channel. Back in 2018, I started posting Fortnite stuff. And then I didn't start posting 2K content again until 2K19. And that's how 2K CP the Doc came into existence. Lonzo said, how many more games left? I'm pretty sure 26. Maybe 27, but I'm pretty sure 26. Not Hydra said, do you ever play Park? I used to play all the time, but I haven't played it seriously since 2K20. It's been a long time. Long, long time. That might miss. Come on, Webb. There we go. Great shot. Great shot. Golden Sweat said, just got Wilt for 300k. That's crazy. Good job. You know what else is crazy? This dono. One from the grave. Thank you so much for the dono. He said, how long does it take to get Invincible Dominique if you actually sweat the mode. 
it depends on first of all how many games you can win in like one hour like how fast you get through the games but also how many games you're starting at if you're starting at zero wins and it takes you a little bit over three minutes to complete each game then you should be able to win like you know a hundred games every six hours so not quite 20 games per hour but let's say like 18 games per hour 17 games per hour yeah we'll say 17 games per hour that's about how long it takes me to win 17 or 18 games like one hour if you go at that pace it'll take you like 120 hours from the very beginning zero wins to get all the way up to all the way up to 2000 so it's a long grind not impossible but at this point in the game probably not worth it one phonem grave thank you so much for the five dollar dono i hope that helps i really hope it helps cam tucker said good night duck doc huh, why do i keep saying duck good night cam i think it's because his last name's tucker that's why i said duck hutch said is jerry west worth it i mean the only reason why i got him was for collector level i don't think he's that good i mean he's invincible so obviously he's good but six foot three is not the best height for a point guard right now especially when you have people with you know point guard Shaq and Yao Ming running around yeah Miami said good night Balk see you next stream good night Miami I guess I'll see you tomorrow and I'll be ready for you to stream snipe me in triple threat online for sure 25 games to go Cade said who's a good player to use for triple threat honestly Cade I think that any player that you're just very good at shooting with who has a quick release and can get a lot of space is good so you could use someone like Steph Curry James Harden you could even use someone like Walter Davis somebody who has a jump shot who's that's very hard to contest and is able to create a lot of space and get open so yeah i mean invincible steph if you have him he works you know maybe even dark matter marcus smart like any cheap dark matter who's able to create space and get open works no limit zo said six three invincible steph is better than any tall point guard you know what zo we're going to use steph for a few games right after this just to show you guys that you don't have to use like Chris Webber every game or some tall player every game. We'll use what we'll use Curry next game because Zoe's in the building. You've probably been here for you know a, a long time, Zoe, but I'm still gonna wish you a warm welcome to the stream anyway. Let's go to the corner. Oh, I'm gonna miss that. Come on, gotta green that. Clutch says, I'm glad I grinded for James Harden. He's really good, man, especially offline. Of course, he's great online, too, but offline, unstoppable. Let's give it back to Webb. And let's finally hit a three. I've missed a few in a row. Limit said, see ya, Doc. Thank you for the stream. Take it easy, my man. I'm glad I can give you a stream. Andrew said, your, your first video on YouTube is about Sapphire George Mirasan, and it's a banger, yes sir. That wasn't my very first YouTube video, but it was one of my very first 2K20 videos. Okay, yeah, we're gonna take Weber out of here. How are we all of a sudden missing all these wide open threes? We're definitely getting Weber out because we would win way faster if Weber could hit his open shots. So yeah, once this game's over, we're gonna make a few subs. We're going to get McGee out of there for Jakar Sampson. And we're going to get Weber out of there because, for some reason, he decided to start selling right after I said I was subbing Curry in. So, maybe he's a bit upset, but I think he's just selling. CCN River said dubs, yes sir. Let's get this dub, and then let's get Curry in there. Mystic Jack said, thoughts on the Atlanta Hawks? They're my second favorite team. Second favorite team. And I think they improved in the offseason. Adding DeJounte Murray and trading away Kevin Herter. I don't love the Herter trade, 
but Justin Holliday's a, you know, veteran guy who's who can hit threes, defend. He'll be in the rotation. Mo Harkless, I doubt he's going to play very much, but DeJounte Murray, obviously a great trade. A great player to, you know, lock up on defense, compliment Trey Young. And of course, they still have DeAndre Hunter. Hopefully, he can stay healthy. And we'll have to see what happens with John Collins, Capella, and the other guys on the team. But I like Bogdanovich. I think it's too bad they lost to Lon Wright. I like Akongwu a lot. Jalen Johnson. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what the Hawks do. But I'm a fan of the Hawks. They're my second favorite team because I live so close to Atlanta. All right, Webb. Let's get you out of there. And let's get Curry in there. Nor said, said Murray is definitely going to fill in the gaps. Facts. Like, not only is he a guy who can play off the ball, but he's a guy who can have the ball in his hands and allow Trey Young to play off the ball instead of him handling the ball 24-7, every single possession. So yeah, he's not the best spot-up shooter, but he's a guy who knows how to move without the ball and be effective even when the ball is not in his hands. He's an excellent defender, good rebounder, and great playmaker so it's good that he's unselfish it's good that he can defend all around really fun player so the Hawks they got themselves a good one for sure Cluxies said how many wins are you at a thousand nine hundred seventy six twenty four wins away for the Mamba Soul Jason thank you so much for subscribing welcome to Doc Nation my man we got Curry in there for my boy Zo. Let's watch Curry light it up this game. Speedy said, let's effing go. I got Daryl Dawkins, yes sir. Congratulations on Chocolate Thunder. He's good. That card is surprisingly good, Daryl Dawkins. Very fast jumper, not bad handles, excellent defense, obviously. He's fun, and so is Curry. What's good, Ethan Lau? Welcome to the stream. What's up, NFL Cam? Blitz says I got Dominique Wilkins tonight. I told my parents about it and all my friends. Cool. I'm probably not going to tell anybody about it. Except you guys. You guys are going to know I got Dominique. I'll probably post it on Twitter that I got Dominique, but yeah, I doubt I'm going to tell anybody about it. I don't care about it that much. It's cool, but I don't care about it all that much. HB2K said, whoa. It's the guy from TikTok. You must be looking in a mirror. No, I'm kidding, HB. Welcome to the stream, my brother. Always good to have you in here. I gotta start tuning into your streams more on Twitch, man. Back when you were on YouTube, it was easy. I would open YouTube. I would raid you. I would hit you up after my stream ended, but... Now you're on Twitch. And so is Mr. Shat. All my boys are switching to Twitch. Good shot. Pat OG said, do you think Jalen Brown's going to get a Dark Matter? Uh, he already has a Dark Matter. Will he get an Invincible card, though? I don't know. We'll have to see, but he does have a Dark Matter. Hey, what's up, Stan Sugarman? Welcome to the stream. Fizzle said, what Xbox do you have? I have the Series X. Havoc says, what have you gotten out the vault? I've gotten, like, three Elgin Baylors, I think. Um, two Terrence Rosses, like three Tony Parkers, but no D Rose yet. Hi! Thank you so much for subscribing. We have more than one person in the stream named Hi. That's crazy. Thank you so much for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation, and feel free to talk to me in the chat and say hi to me for real. Too many bands said, was Curry easy to get? Yes. A bit time consuming. But yes. Beckham said, does Zoe even make content anymore? Not for real. My guy is so busy. He's an actor, so he's been caught up with that. He's had a bunch of stuff to do behind the scenes of YouTube. We could see him return one day, but my man's busy right now, doing great things. And Zoe, I'm probably going to see you before the end of the summer, man. If you're still trying to meet up and play some basketball in the ATL. You, me, Ryan, and Mood. That'd be crazy. Good shot, Curry. NFL Cam says, are you going to get Endgame KD? 
Maybe, eventually. I mean, probably not when he drops, but maybe eventually. What's up, Drop That Deli? Welcome to the stream. I'm a little down in the dumps, but I thought I'd still come by and say hi. Hey, man. I'm sorry you're down in the dumps. Feel free to talk about it. I also hope my stream makes you feel a little bit better. Cooper you What's good? My boy Zoe says, You already know I'm down. That'd be so dope. Yes, sir. How often do you play basketball, Zoe? Because a big reason why I want to come back so bad to Atlanta and play with you guys is because I've been playing a lot more basketball lately. That love for the game, it's back. Partly because of Summer League, you know, partly because of this basketball series I'm making. I want to start playing more 1v1s, you know, traveling and, you know, running some fives, like maybe even twos and threes with my guys. Good shot. Kieran says, you remember me? I remember that name, yes. I remember that name, but it's been a minute. Gaku said hi. What's up, Gaku? Or is it Geku? Welcome to the stream. Curry's lighting it up. Honestly, we're gonna have to use Curry the rest of the stream because he's shooting very well. Honestly, better than Chris Webber was. Jordan says, are you gonna do another sniping video? Yes. The next episode of Sniping from 0 to 1 million MT is gonna be live. A live episode so that's probably gonna be on Sunday or Monday y'all stay tuned for that a live episode of sniping to a million MT HB says I watch your game winner and it took me a few watches to realize it wasn't Reggie Miller hey I appreciate the love HB that game winner was crazy <sighs> Tony Parker baby that's still a lot of MT though, like 8,000 from selling TP. I can't complain. Soul Jason said, just got 40 and the Joker. Yes, sir, Jason. Congratulations. And of course, thank you again for subscribing, man. I appreciate you and I hope you enjoyed Jokic. Hi said, thank you for making my days better. A. Hey, that's what I'm here for, man. You guys always feel free to chill in the chat, talk to me. Let me know how you're doing, even if you don't talk in the chat. I hope you enjoy the vibes of the stream, and I hope you enjoy my commentary, the background music. I always try to make these streams chill for everybody. Jeremy said, I need a hoop vlog, CP. I'm posting a video tomorrow. You guys stay tuned. The return of Summer League Basketball. My first Summer League video since last summer. What's up, Huncho MB? Welcome to the stream. Rajdeep said, thoughts on the Toronto Raptors? That's a team with a pretty good future, man. I think they're building some pretty good things up in Toronto. I mean, they have a great coach, obviously. And Fred Van Fleet, awesome point guard. Gary Trent, solid young scorer. They also got OG Ananobi, who I think has a lot of potential. Siakam who had an all-star caliber season and, of course, was all-NBA third team. Well-deserved, too. And they just have so much talent. I didn't even mention Scotty Barnes. Scotty Barnes, great addition to the team. And the young guys like Malachi Flynn, for example, Delano Banton. I think the Raptors are a solid center away for being a great team in the East. Of course, some people are saying they want Toronto to trade for KD. But maybe if Toronto would have gotten DeAndre Ayton, that would have been a big missing piece for them because, I mean, this past year they were solid, but they had like Kem Birch starting at the center. Precious Achua, he's really solid too. He had a career season, but he's more of a power forward. Thaddeus Young was also very good for the Raptors, but of course, he's also a guy who's more of a power forward, small forward. If they can get themselves a really good center, like Miles Turner, for example, Aiton would have been really cool. I think the Raptors could be a real contender in the East. Jamba is hooping said, what win are you at? I just got here. We'll find out in one second, Jamba. Let's find out right now. 21 games left 
And Dominique wears number 21, so that's pretty dope. Let's do this. Let's do this. 21 games to go. Rose said they would be a good team if Gasol never left. I feel like if they would have kept Kawhi, or if Kawhi would have stayed, rather, they could have possibly gone back to back. I mean, remember, the Celtics and Raptors in the bubble in 2020, they went to a Game 7. That was an intense seven-game series that really could have gone the Raptors' way if one or two possessions would have, you know, turned out differently. So, the Raptors, they really could have made it back to the finals in 2020 if Kawhi would have stayed. Maybe even 2021. I mean, we're never going to know. What's up, Boaz? Welcome to the stream. Smart of Marcus said, thoughts on the Celtics? They're pretty stacked. They could definitely make it back to the finals this year. I mean, they already had, you know, Jalen Brown, Jason Tatum, Marcus Smart. Not to mention, you know, Derek White, for example, Al Horford, Robert Williams, Grant Williams. But they go out and add Malcolm Brogdon, who could give you like 20 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists every night. That's a great addition. Lil B Gaming says, how many games left? If we win this game, 20 games to go. What's up, Ali? Welcome to the stream. King Jess said, yo, what's up, King Jess? I can see your messages just fine. I can see your messages. I'm so sorry if I'm not doing the best job of reading them, though. BHZ says, I'm playing versus D Rose right now. Maybe that's a good sign. Maybe that's a sign that he's about to be yours. Monkey said, if we win this game. Yeah, if we win this game. Preet is fat said, what do you think of the Knicks? I mean, the Knicks are my favorite team. I think the Knicks have a decent future. Of course, I wouldn't mind seeing them trade for Donovan, but I don't want to see them trade away too much for Spider Mitchell. What's up, Hiago? Welcome to the stream. What is up, Champ P Music and Cody Joker? Welcome to the stream. Javen said, team reveal, maybe at the end of the stream I got you. Remind me at the end of the stream and I got you. What's up, a block of cheese? Welcome to the stream. King Jess said, no need to apologize, just checking in. Got you, got you. Yeah, I didn't think I'd seen too many messages from you. I didn't think I'd missed too much. I just had to make sure I hadn't missed too much from you. Fly Prince said, how do you do that behind the back dribble? Let me show you. Um, hold down the right trigger, and if you have the ball in your right hand, hold the right stick down and to the left. Boom. So hold down turbo while standing in place, or while going in one direction, but whatever direction you're going in, let's say you're going left, if the ball's in your left hand, then hold the right stick down and to the right. So it looks like this if you're going right. If you're going left, it looks like this. If you're going right, looks like this. Boom. Actually, that might miss. I didn't even do a move. I just did a little behind the back dribble to the left and right. But it works. If your momentum is taking you towards the sideline, then it's a perfect time for you to pull it out. JR said, what time is it over there for you? It is 1.19 a.m. Doozy says, you forgot to sub out McGee. I did forget to sub out McGee. I was going to throw in Gold Jakar Sampson, but I forgot to. Jordan said, yo, what's up, Doc? What's good, Jordan? Welcome to the stream. Nor said, noted, yes, sir. The curry slide, that's what some people call it, is one of the best escapes in the game. Not only do you get separation, but you can run one way and then curry slide. You can run to the left, curry slide. Run to the right, curry slide. It gets so much separation. Also, Fed Extra. Thank you so much for the sub. I missed it at first, but thank you so much for the sub, Fed Extra. Prob Deep says, who you got for the championship next year? I want to say Clippers versus Celtics. I feel like that's a pretty good pick, but I kind of have a feeling the Warriors are going back. I don't know. But if I had to bet right now, I'm thinking Warriors or Warriors or Clippers 
versus either the Celtics or the Bucks. Jeremy says, are you half Asian? Yes. I'm half Malaysian to be exact. Monkey says, my triple threat online lineup is Ralph, Taco, and Yao. That's an insane squad right there. I wouldn't want to play versus that team. The worst player is Ralph, and Ralph is amazing. That Ralph Sampson is a beast. Rose said Clippers if they stay healthy. Yeah, if the Clippers stay healthy, I think they got it, but health is a big problem for the Clippers. I mean, Paul George missed a lot of this past season. Kawhi did too. Reggie Jackson, I think, is a he had a great season for them this past year, so hopefully he can do that again. John Wall, huge addition. They still got Rocco, Norman Powell, Zubach, Batum still, Marcus Morris. They're still pretty loaded. Didn't even mention Luke Kennard yet. Hutch said, who you got winning rookie of the year? Rookie of the year, hmm. I wanna say Jabari Smith. Kobe said, you gotten anybody yet? I've gotten everybody except for Derrick Rose this stream. Well, and Ralph Sampson, but I got Sampson yesterday. DH said, how many more you got? We got like 19 more games, which should take a little over one hour. Actually, maybe exactly an hour, if I can win fast enough. Winning games with Curry is super easy, so we should be able to win these final 19 games in one hour, if everything goes my way. So right now it is 1.22 a.m. I think I'll be done with this at 2.22. You guys might think that's bold, but you can win games super fast if you have the right strats and the right shooters. I got Curry, and it's so easy to green everything with him and make everything with him, so I think at 2.22, maybe like a minute earlier, a minute later, I think that's when we're gonna be done with this. Hiago says, what a shot. I'm telling you, this Curry's crazy. He can even block shots. Look at how he's just swatting shots, protecting the rim, and now we're gonna snatch back, pull it, boom. Sykes Crib says the Clippers got a squad. Facts, they do. D Lit says, hey Doc, I came back. What's good, D Lit? Welcome back. Hiago said, how are you doing? I'm doing amazing, man. Having a great night. Matt Williams says, what are your thoughts on the Timberwolves next year? I feel like they could make it out the first round, but I'm not sure if this Gobert move makes them into championship contenders. I mean, they traded away so much for Gobert. They traded away four draft picks, um, the rights to Walker Kessler, Jared Vanderbilt, Patrick Beverly, Malik Beasley, and I feel like there was one more guy in the deal, but I could be wrong. Vanderbilt is like a modern day Dennis Rodman, a great hustle guy, excellent defender, and a great, sc not a great scorer, but a guy who can give you a double-double every night, you know, off pure hustle, athleticism, rim running, offensive rebounding. So that's a big loss for the Timberwolves. They also lost Malik Beasley, who averaged 20 points per game two seasons ago. Malik Beasley's solid. And then of course they also gave up Beverly, who obviously is not a superstar, but is an excellent glue guy and was a big piece of their rotation this past year. They still have D'Angelo, they still have Gobert, Cat, Anthony Edwards, they have guys like Jaden McDaniels, um, Jalen Noel, but their backup point guard is going to be McLaughlin. I mean, their backup small forward. I guess we'll have to see who that is, but the T-Wolves, I feel like they don't have as much depth. Their depth wasn't great this past year in the first place, but I feel like it's gotten even worse. So I feel like, you know, they've gotten a bit better because Gobert is going to make them way better on defense, but Cat... He's not the five man anymore. Cat's not the center. He's going to have to play some power forward. And he hasn't played power forward since college. Then again, he does still have experience playing power forward. But in the NBA, he works so well at the center position. So we'll have to see how well he adjusts and how well Gobert adjusts. I mean, Gobert, I think he'll be normal. I think he'll, you know, get his blocks, 
He'll contest shots. He'll get rebounds. He'll make them way better on defense. And they need that. But they also need to score. And we'll see if they can still do that just as efficiently with Gobert out there on the court. Monkey said, say it. I got you, Monkey. We in Minnesota now. I got you always. Jason said I'm back. What's good, Jason? Welcome back. Matt says, I hope we do good next year. I hope y'all do it too. I'm a huge fan of D'Angelo Russell. Ever since he played for Ohio State and the Lakers, and of course Brooklyn. Big fan of D'Lo Russell, but I've heard they might be trying to trade him away. Matt said, good response. That's what I'm here for, man. I try to make good responses. Hiago says, what team do you support in the NBA? My top two teams are the Knicks, because they're the first team I ever watched on TV. And number two, the Hawks, because I live like two hours away. So I've been to so many Hawks games, a ton of Hawks games. Hiago said, this Curry's very good. Yes, he is. I don't even have to sub out JaVale anymore. Curry's just taking every shot. Ashbell said, now say it like you're French. Hmm. How do I imitate a French accent? I don't want to butcher it, Ashmel. I'll look up a fresh accent later. And maybe in the next stream, if you remind me, I'll imit I'll say, we in Minnesota now in a French accent. But nah, man, I haven't done my research. So I don't want to be doing a terrible accent right now but remind me some other time and I got you if I do my research site crib said how are you opening the vault so much that's a great question all I really do is just spam the a button when the vault screen comes up that's not really a strategy but I guess it kind of is a strategy what's up ke curry welcome to the stream Rajdeep said, how long is this event? You mean the event with um, all the players in the vault? I think it ends today. Because it says available until July 15th. And it is July 15th. Cooper said, Doc, say, have you ever gotten a Snapchat from a girl? No. 23 years and counting. No Snapchats. I'm glad you guys watched those videos. K.E. Curry said, I was sent here by who? Let me know. Eddie Loco says, you won't make a half-court shot. Hmm. You might be right, but let's find out. Nah, you were wrong. Welcome to the stream, though, Eddie Loco. That was a nice little half-court shot right there. A little snatch back right behind the line. Beautiful make. Luke says, I've gotten tokens every time I've opened the vault. Man, I've gotten tokens probably like 75% of the time I've opened the vault. But I've gotten Tony Parker like four times. I've gotten, um, I want to say I've gotten Ross like two and Baylor like three. But no Samson, no Rose. Eddie Loco said dubs. Yes, sir, Eddie. Beautiful shot. I wouldn't have taken that if it wasn't for you, but this curry is pretty nice. He can knock it down from half court with regularity. Work said, how many wins do you have? I want to say we have 1,985 now. No, 84. Let's check. We'll find out in like two more seconds how many wins we have. 84. I told you guys earlier, I predict we're going to be done with this at... 2.22. No! Okay. Yeah, 2.22 a.m. I think someone will be done with this. Less than an hour left. Mason said, should I sell my invincible Vince Carter? I'm not sure how much he's going for, but I'm pretty sure he's still pretty expensive. Personally, for me, I would sell him because I have so many invincible shooting guards and small forwards. I mean... I already have, you know, Dr. J, for example. I also have Scottie Pippen. And that's not to mention that I have Chris Webber now. And I just have so many good wing players I enjoy using. So, personally, I would sell them and make the MT because there's so many good wing players in the game. Eddie Loco said, Dubstream, bro. 
we should collaborate in the future. Hey, man, just hit me up on Twitter. Follow me on Twitter. I'll follow you right back. DM me, and we can maybe work something out. Not Hydra said, do you watch football? I do. Mainly college football, though. I'm not really a huge NFL fan, but my favorite team is the Falcons because, you know, Atlanta. College football, though, I live in Alabama. I was born in Alabama, so it's all about Auburn and the Crimson Tide if you live in Alabama. So, yeah. I'm a football fan, but more of a college football fan. Purple said, CP the Doc is the best streamer of all time. I'm not, though. Maybe one day, but... Nah, man. Got a lot of work to do to improve. Doozy said, thoughts on the Bucks. I think they could have gone to the championship this last year if Middleton played in the second round. I mean, the Celtics and Bucks went to a Game 7 without Middleton. And Middleton is a pretty clutch playoff performer. Well, sometimes he's kind of a choker, but he's a 20-point-per-game scorer who gives the Bucks another big weapon on offense. And he's had some great playoff games, super clutch performances, especially that one game versus the Hawks last year. So I think them missing him was a big deal. If they're healthy, they could go back to the finals. I really believe that. Hazy2K said, roll tide. Yes, sir. Auburn said, Auburn is my dream school. Auburn's a great school, man. You know, I visit Auburn all the time. There are some really good restaurants there that are open like a few times throughout the week. There's this one restaurant I go to called the Irritable Bow that's open on like Wednesdays, Thursdays, and Fridays. I'll stop in Auburn like once a week just to grab food. So yeah, Auburn's great. Great food. I have a lot of friends there. Great atmosphere. Great college town. Purple says, bro, you are the best streamer. Doubt yourself. Hmm. I think doubting myself is a bad thing to do. No, I'm kidding. But yeah, I'm definitely not the best. There's a lot of great streamers out there. I'm trying to get better every day, though. I promise you. What's up, Zabon? Welcome back to the stream. It's been a minute. Welcome back to the stream, Zabon. Hutch said, do you think Boston will make the finals again? If not this year, they will definitely be back in the future. I mean, Brown and Tatum are both so young. Marcus Smart has a lot of great basketball left in him. Not to mention that Malcolm Brogdon's a great young player. Well, not really young anymore, but a great player who's a pretty seasoned veteran. They got Derek White, Horford, Robert Williams, Grant Williams. The Celtics have amazing depth. Really good depth. Purple says, I mean, don't doubt yourself. I knew what you meant. I knew what you meant. I was just messing with you. My man said, Doc, you are the best. Doubt yourself. And I was like, maybe I shouldn't do that. I know what you meant, though. I'm just playing around with you. What's up, David the Goat? Welcome to the stream. Zabon said, I'm surprised you remember me. How's it going? I'm doing great, man. And I hope everything's good with you, too. I tell people this all the time. If you join my if you join my stream and talk pretty often and have a pretty unique name, you know, a name that stands out or is fun to say like Zabone. I'll remember you. I haven't said Zabone out loud in months, but I remember saying it in the past. So, yeah. It came back to me and it's good to have you back in the stream. Go behind the back again. Curry versus Westbrook. Ah, Westbrook's actually playing some decent defense. But we're still greening in his face. Hazy2k said, Hazy's fun to say. Sure it is. Sure it is. Hazy2k, it has a nice little ring to it. That's a pretty good name. I'm guessing you make 2k content, or at least play 2k a lot. Hazy2k, it's a name that sticks with you. ZGA said, ZGA is an easy, easy, easy name. Yeah, I'd say it is. It's an easy name, but another one you remember. Like I said, pretty easy to remember. Splash said, my name isn't unique. Yeah, but you're a moderator. 
and you've had the same profile picture for the longest so when I see splash I know who it is Zaya says excited to watch the Pelicans this year me too me too I mean the Pelicans this past year after they traded for um, CJ McCollum they were awesome I mean they began the year like 1 and 12 1 and 13 they were trash but Brandon Ingram had an awesome season. He could have been an all-star again, but he wasn't. I don't think he was, at least. I think it was like two or three seasons ago, Ingram was first named to all-star. And then, of course, the season where Zion was named to all-star, Ingram wasn't. He was great this past year, too. And, of course, CJ, excellent player. Zion, last time he played, he was amazing. And then, of course, Jonas Valanciunas, Alvarado. I love Herb Jones. He went to Alabama, so I've seen him play firsthand before. I mean, they just have a great future. Ben Pickett said, not like there's 15 Bens in this joint. True, but to be fair, not all of them have the same name. About to say, we have a lot of Bens, but most of them have like a certain aspect of them that I can use to tell them apart. For you, it's always going to be that Clippers profile picture. And of course your name, obviously. Cody said, thoughts on the Trailblazers. Oh man, I would love to be optimistic about Portland because Portland's a team that I wouldn't say I'm a big fan of, but they're a team that I want to see succeed. Like for years and years now, the Blazers... They've never broken through to the NBA Finals. And the one time where they went to the Conference Finals, they got swept. So, the Trailblazers, this year, next year's team, I think has potential to be really good. I mean, Anthony Simons just had a career season. Josh Hart was awesome at the end of the season. Excellent defensive player, great hustle guy, really good role player. Jeremy Grant, I think people forget that he's a lockdown defender. I mean, Jeremy Grant, the reason why he's been around the NBA so long was because of his great defense, because of his hustle, and his athleticism. Of course, he's pretty good offensively, but he hasn't been like a really, really big offensive guy until these past two seasons, so he's improved on offense, but he plays best on the defensive end, you know, slashing to the rim too, but now he can also hit open threes, create his own shot. So Jeremy Grant's a big pickup. Nurkic... I think they could have gotten a better center because he's so bad guarding the pick and roll so teams could just keep on attacking him on the pick and roll you know finding mismatches scoring on him but Lillard obviously great player I like Josh Hart and Simons a lot Jeremy Grant's a beast and I mean they just have so many good young guys but also some veterans mixed in so I guess we'll see if the Blazers can be anything you know special this next season but I'm thinking they'll make the playoffs or the play-in, but probably losing the first round because the West is just so stacked. I mean, you got the Warriors, Clippers at the top, and then you got the Grizzlies. The Lakers, I think, will be better this next season, even though the roster is not the best. The Mavericks, I think, improved in the offseason. And I can go on and on. The Nuggets, if they're fully healthy, are going to be great. Um, let me go from top to bottom of the West, man. I think the Suns will be back for sure. How good are they going to be? I don't know, but I think they'll still win a lot of games. I think the Jazz are going to be in the mix, unless they do trade away Donovan Mitchell. There's just so many great teams in the West. I didn't even name the Pelicans yet. Dr. Jack said, how far do you think the Celtics are going to go? They could go back to the championship for all we know. They could make it back to the finals. I mean, if I had to predict right now, Fully healthy? I think I got Giannis and the Bucks back in the finals, but I don't know. The Celtics, they're so stacked. So I want to say they'll be back, but making it back to a finals is so hard. Making it to multiple finals in a row, super hard. Like, come on. Making it to the finals consecutive times, I don't think people really understand how tough it is to do that because... Not only does it take, you know, really good play from your best players, but it also requires health. And we've seen health, um, we've seen health play a factor in so many of these past few NBA championships. 2019, 
the Raptors, they got the win, but Kevin Durant only played like 13 minutes in one game and didn't play the rest of the series. And of course, Clay, he missed like half the series. Now, I don't put an asterisk on the championship, but of course, health played a factor there. And then in the 2020 season, of course, there was a pandemic and the Heat, they were not fully healthy in the finals. I think the Lakers would have won anyway, but the Heat, they missed Dragas for most of the series. They missed Bam for a lot of the series. So injuries played a factor there too. In 2021, it was the Bucks and the, Su and the Suns, but the Suns, they got to the finals because, I mean, of course they're a great team, but I remember the Nuggets, they beat the Nuggets, who, who of course didn't have Jamal Murray. They beat the Clippers, but the Clippers, they didn't have Kawhi Leonard. And the Clippers still pushed the Suns to six games without Kawhi playing a single game. So I'm thinking if Kawhi plays in that series, maybe the Clippers go to the finals. And of course, in the first round that season, no Anthony Davis for the majority of that series versus the Lakers. Actually, no, he played the majority of the series, but up to one second quarter, he got injured. And then over in the Eastern Conference, the Bucks, they beat the Brooklyn Nets, but the Nets weren't healthy the entire series. I think James Harden played only half the games. Kyrie only played like one or two games, maybe three. And the Bucks, they were down to nothing in the series. They lost by 50 in game two. I mean, they got killed in game two. But of course, they came back and won the series in seven. Auburn says, I'm going to stay here the whole stream until you end. I appreciate that. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry about going on and on about basketball. But yeah, sometimes I go off on tangents. <laughs> Y'all said, we know CP loves talking about basketball. That's my fault, man. That's my fault. You guys have been asking a lot of basketball questions, so I've been trying to go into detail and give you guys good answers. So my fault for going on and on, but I'm not just going to sit here and half-ass questions that I think are pretty good questions. Purple says I'm staying too, yes sir. Monkey says love basketball, me too man, love playing it, watching it, you know, playing a video game simulation of it. Basketball is pretty cool. Splash said, love a late night talk about basketball from CP. Yes, sir. Man, I could start a podcast. Wonder how well that would do. Ashmel says, a basketball player streaming a basketball game, answering questions about basketball. What a concept. Hey, Terrence Ross, he might be the person to start that. Because I play basketball, but I'm not quite a pro. Not Hydra said the Warriors and Cavs was crazy. Short says, I love talking ball. Man, I can go on and on and on and on about ball. I can definitely go on and on about it. It's good to know I'm not the only one. I mean, college and NBA, there's just a lot to talk about. I love the game. Mirko said, how many more games? I think 13. Trevor said, I of course Trevor says that. I'm not going to read that, Trevor, but I almost did. Bailey says, they just updated the My Team Anniversary set. Cool. I'm definitely going to pick up KD and T-Mac tomorrow, but not the end game versions. I'm going to have to pick up the, yeah, the anniversary versions for cheap. What's good, Fable? Welcome back. XXO says, are Invincible Steph and Embiid still worth it? Is grinding for those guys still worth it? Hmm. I don't think so. I mean, if, you, if you've if you already started on the Curry or the Embiid grind, I think you might as well finish it, but they're just two very time-consuming grinds. And those two cards, they're good. Embiid and Curry are both solid, but... We have so many endgame cards coming out. You could grind for Jokic or Harden instead. I mean, even some of the new Invincible cards in the game, you could possibly get your hands on easier than Curry and Embiid. So it's your call. I'm always one for finishing a grind. I'm always here for that, but the cards aren't really good right now, you know, compared to when they first dropped. 
Hey, what's up, Mamba44? What's up, Zach? What's up, Elzine? What's up, Medina? We have so many guys joining the stream at one time. 533 people still watching at 1.45 a.m. is crazy. I haven't said this in a long time, so y'all forgive me for saying it again, but if you're new to my channel and you haven't subscribed yet, I think you know what I'm about to say. Y'all know what to do. If you're enjoying the stream, just know I do this all the time. So, subscribe if you like what you see. I'm going to be live again tomorrow, and I'm dropping a real-life basketball video tomorrow. So, you guys stay tuned for that. And, of course, don't forget to drop a like. I appreciate you guys reminding me in the chat. Great shot. Wonderboy says, I love the vibe of the stream. Always, yes, sir. The vibes are always great. Always so chill. I love doing this. Pig Nation said, who's your favorite basketball team? The Knicks. I've been loyal to the Knicks since 2012. It's crazy. When I was in 8th grade, 2013, the Knicks made the playoffs. I was so hype. I thought the future was bright. But then, they didn't make the playoffs again until the year I graduated college. Until the year I got my bachelor's. So, my entire time in high school... They miss the playoffs every year. And my first three years of college, they miss the playoffs every year. So, huh, being a Knicks fan is tough. I'm patient, but man, it's not easy. Bandman says, I just got Chris Webber. Yes, sir. Congrats on C-Web. What's up, WMV Shots? Welcome to the stream. Cooper said, what's the stream tomorrow? The stream tomorrow, we are grinding for Dirk. Well, grinding for Dirk. We're gonna get 4,000 cards for Invincible Dirk, and then we're gonna score 53 points with him to get Endgame Dirk, and then we're just gonna chill and play some TTO. Probably a three hour stream tomorrow. So not super long, but still should be fun regardless. Phase Laser says you like Trey Young. I do. I'm a big Trey Young fan. Okrid O says what players are coming out today? Uh, T-Mac and KD. Four versions, four endgame versions of T-Mac and KD. Two of those that can play the point guard. It's crazy. And then we're probably going to get like eight more different versions of those same cards. Hydra said, who's your favorite player of all time? Favorite player ever? Carmelo, because the Knicks are the first team I watched, but... Derrick Rose is up there too, Kobe, obviously, Paul Pierce, LeBron. Basically, my favorite players all come from the early 2010s when I first started watching basketball. Basball said the daily login wheel happens in 10 minutes. Hey, I can't remember what the prize is, but I guess we can do the wheel spin live, which is a dub. GTiz said, how's everything going in your personal life? Pretty good, man. I can't complain. I've been in really good spirits lately. Life's been good. Just been enjoying the summer. You know, going through my days, streaming, making content for y'all. Having a lot of fun with life, man. Zurich! Did I get that right? I hope I did. Thank you so much for the sub. Zurich. It's Chet. That's right, it is Chet. I almost forgot. Yeah, draft at first said, Chet's the prize, be Diddy. I appreciate y'all for reminding me because I completely forgot. Ashmel says, your mellow story is me with Charles Barkley. Hey, Barkley, I hate that he never won a ring. Of course, you guys know I'm from Alabama. Of course, Charles Barkley, he went to Auburn. Man, Barkley's so funny. And of course, one of the most dominant players of his era. Another new subscriber, you love to see it, El Nandi. Thank you so much for subscribing. It's good to have you in Doc Nation, my friend. You guys be like El Nandi and subscribe if you haven't already. Good defense. Let's get another three. Good shot. On for my gray said, Doc. Who's your favorite NBA 2K My Team YouTuber? 
Oh no, you're GOAT, my team YouTuber. Hmm. Probably Toddy Sharp. If not him, HGB. I think he's up there. I think the SP2K is also one of the best right now. The greatest of all time, though? Man, I think it's gotta be up there between guys like HTB, Chris Smoove. I think SP could be there one day. Man, there's just so many great ones. I'm gonna leave people out. I mean, Oko Dre's been killing it. Decentric's been killing it. DBG, obviously, is gonna be hitting 300k pretty soon. So many great My Team YouTubers, man. I mean, Tidebo just hit 100k too. He's awesome. Troy Dan's great. Greatest of all time is so tough. I mean, remember, Cash Nasty and Jesser also used to make some great My Team content. Greatest of all time is tough. Another new subscriber, dude. You guys are just coming out of nowhere with all these subs. All of a sudden. Seahawk Blazer. You're the man. Thank you so much for the sub. Seahawk Blazer. Also, Malik J. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to Doc Nation, Malik J. But wait, it's not done yet. We got one more coming up right here. Gage. Man, should I try to pronounce the last name? I will. Gage Lautzenheiser. I hope I got that right. Thank you for subscribing, my man. Welcome. What? We got another one. Angus Everett. All these new subs, man. We might hit the sub goal again with all the new subs we're gaining. That is crazy. Thanks to all four of you guys for the subs. Matt said, who's better, Ants or LaMelo? Hmm. That's so tough because they play so differently. I mean, they're both very explosive young players, but man. As of right now, I think I would take Ant in a 1v1. I mean, he's more explosive. He's, uh, I think, a higher volume scorer. This is so tough, but I think I gotta go with Ant. But LaMelo, he's awesome too. I mean, excellent playmaker, triple-double machine, pretty fun to watch. I think I'm taking Ant, though. Gage said, you got my name right. Man, let's go. Let's go. I'm telling you guys, I feel like I'm pretty good with names, but some names just stump me, but Lautzenheiser. I'm so, I'm so glad I got that right. Thank you again for the sub, man. And it's really good to have you in the stream. Matt Williams said, very good call. It's a tough call, but I feel like it's the right one to make. Now, if we're debating who's the better actor, LaMelo or Anthony Edwards, I think it's no question Anthony Edwards. Like, literally zero doubt about it. Anthony Edwards, he killed it as Kermit Wiltz. Great movie. I hope you guys have seen Hustle. WMV Shot said, hey bro. You've said hi like 30 times. And I've said it back like two or three times. I promise you I see you. Not Hydra said, how you feel about the Bulls? If they can stay healthy, I think they can be a real threat in the Eastern Conference. I mean, this past year, they were number one for the majority of the season, but they ended up like six, five, something like that. They could have been a much higher seed if Lonzo would have stayed healthy, if Levine would have played the entire season. He didn't miss that much time, but I remember he missed some games. Patrick Williams missed a lot of games. Caruso missed some games. Ayo Desumu, he was pretty good in his rookie year. Hopefully he gets better. The Bulls are solid, man. If only they can stay healthy. Oko Dre said, who's your favorite NBA player and team? Uh, Carmelo and the Knicks. My second favorite player is D. Rose, and he's on the Knicks right now, so gotta love how that works out. What's up, Danielle? Welcome to the stream. Auburn said Garland. I'm a huge fan of Darius Garland. I actually have a Darius Garland jersey in my closet. Gage says, you're cool. I just saw your stream. And I had to sub, bro. Good luck. Hopefully you get Mr. Wilkins staying till the end. Yes, sir. We're only seven wins away. And I told you guys that I think we're going to be done by 222. So can we get this done in the next 28 minutes? Seven dubs in 28 minutes. I think we got this. Sanity said, what's good? What's up, Sanity? Welcome to the stream. What's up, Magnus? 
And what's up, Justin? Oko Dre says, I love Prime D Rose. Man, how can you not love Prime D Rose? So fun to watch, man. Excellent athlete, great leader. I mean, insane slasher and dunker of the basketball. Had a nice mid-range, in-between floater game. Not the best three-point shooter, but I want to say that he's become a pretty good three-point shooter now. Of course, as Derrick Rose has gotten older, and as his body has, you know, just kind of failed him a bit over the years, even though he can't get those athletic dunks and posters anymore, he has really worked on his jump shot mechanics, and he's become a very good three-point shooter. So man, D. Rose, he may not be the player he once was, but he's still had an amazing career. I mean, seeing him score 50 points with the Wolves was surreal. He definitely revived his career over there in Minnesota. And of course, he's been really, really important for the Knicks too. So, man, D. Rose, he may not be what he once was, but he's still so much fun. Jack and Auburn said, how do you curry slide? If you have the ball in your right hand, hold down the right trigger, RT, and hold the right stick down, or move the right stick down and to the left. Don't hold it down or you might shoot. If you have the ball in your right hand, hold it down to the left while holding down turbo. If you have it in your left hand, vice versa, hold the right stick down or, yeah, slightly hold, like quickly hold it down like this to the right. And yeah, there we go. Curry slide, three, cash every time. Prince Zala said, yo, what's up Prince Zala? Welcome to the stream. Also, JR Martinez, welcome back. All right, guys, I can't believe we're saying this, but we only have six games to go. 1,994 wins. That's a lot of wins. What is up, Ali? Welcome to the stream. Rowena says, have you gotten anything from the vault yet? Yes, I've gotten like four Tony Parkers, three Terrence Rosses, three Elgin Baylors, and probably 10,000 tokens. Not 10,000, but you know what I mean. Angus says, you deserve the subs. That is a grind. It is a grind, man. Nah, we've gained so many new subs this stream. We might hit our sub goal again. Splash said, touch grass. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow after I finish editing my Summer League video. Ashmel said, and a partridge in a pear tree. How could I forget the last line of the song? <sighs> Four Tony Parkers. Three Elgin Baylors. Three, who's the last player? Terrence Rosses. 10,000 tokens. And a partridge in a pear tree. How could I forget the last line? What's up, Dirty Curry? Welcome to the stream. William Fridia said, Goat. Not me. That's all you, William. And everybody else talking in the chat. Hanging around the stream. Magnus said, Who do you think is going to win the championship next season? If I had to bet on one team, it would probably be... If they stay fully healthy, the Clippers. I Quizzen said, yo, how's your day been, bro? It's been amazing. It's been a really good day. Now, right now, I don't get why this is taking so long. This is next-gen offline triple threat. Why is this taking forever to load? Let's go ahead and close the app and restart. Why does it take forever like that sometimes? <sighs> 2K's on the weed sometimes, man. Thunderfan Cole said, Doc, UAB men's basketball needs you ASAP. They could use another three-point shooter, but man, I definitely don't have the defense to guard D1 athletes. No question about that. Can I hit open threes? Yes. Am I going to be dropping 20 a game, though? I don't think so. Nor said, said, 2K is sabotaging you. For real, like, why is it taking forever to load into a game of triple threat offline? Like, look how fast that was. Look how fast that was. Like, dude. Come on. Dabba said, what do you think about Giannis? Awesome player. Probably the best in the league. Gotta be the best in the league. I mean... I don't think anybody has the combination of, you know, 
insane defense, you know, playmaking, rebounding, scoring, finishing around the rim, just being a great leader. I don't think anybody has it like Giannis does. Some people say Kevin Durant's better, but I think I think that's just because Kevin Durant's scoring is more pleasing to watch. I mean, seeing Giannis get 50 is not as fun as seeing KD score 50 because KD is, you know, knocking down pull-up threes. He's hitting mid-range shots, but he definitely doesn't pass the ball as well as Giannis. Not as good defensively, not as dominant in the paint. Both guys can score 30 points a game, but I mean, KD does it nicer. Just because KD's look nicer though, it doesn't mean his 30 points are any different than Giannis's. So I think Giannis with the defense, with his ability to make plays, dribble and whatnot, score the ball. I gotta take Giannis, but KD, you can definitely make the argument. What's up, gent? Welcome to the stream. And oh my gosh, what's up, Ajith? It's like I'm seeing a ghost in the chat. What's up, my boy, Ajith? Haven't seen you in a minute. Welcome back to the stream, my brethren. Good to have you back. Also, what's up, Lawrence Banks and Dumbo Forever? Happy birthday to you, Dumbo. Hope you enjoy your birthday, man. How old are you turning? Blue said how many games left. Blue, if we get this dub, we have five games to go. Only five more wins if we clutch out this dub. Brendan said, yo, Doc, what's up, Brendan? Welcome to the stream. Splash said, rare sighting. My boy Ajith gets busy, man. He gets busy, so I understand him not being able to make it. What's up, Taco Cat? What's up, Quindale Vlogs TV? Welcome to the stream. Brody says, I never chat because I don't know what to say. I mean, feel free to just, I mean, say anything that goes along with the conversation. Sometimes we talk about 2K, sometimes we talk about basketball, sometimes we even talk about baseball. I mean, whatever people are talking about, feel free to just throw something in that contributes to the conversation. I try to read everything, but every now and then, I will miss some chats because we just have so many people talking at one time. I do my best, but I'm not perfect. Flying J says, keep it up. I got you, Flying J. Let's close out this grind strong, baby. Desmond says, have you gotten D-Rose out the vault yet? Sadly, no. No D-Rose for me. Auburn said, thoughts on the Cavs. The Cavaliers, I feel like they could be a top six, top seven seed in the East this year if they stay healthy. But, I mean, no Colin Sexton the entire year. Ricky Rubio got injured like at the very beginning of the season. Not the very beginning, but he got injured early, obviously, which sucked. And then, of course, Mobley, Markinen, and Jarrett Allen had to miss a lot of games. And that kind of derailed their season. So if the Cavs can stay healthy, if Love can keep on playing well, if Garland can keep up the all-star level play, and Sexton comes back strong, I think they can be pretty good. Jackson said, what's the best thing you've gotten out the vault today? In this stream, I've gotten four Tony Parkers, which is cool because they all sell for like 8,000 MT. I think Terrence Ross sells for like 10,000. I've gotten him like three times. And I've also gotten Baylor like three times, which sucks because I can only sell him for like 3,000. Godly Power said, what do you think about the heat? I think losing P.J. Tucker kind of sucks, but I think they'll still be fine. I mean, they're so well coached. Spolstra is amazing. Not to mention that Butler's a big time playoff performer, big time scorer when the time, you know, when the time comes. Bam, I think is going to improve and keep on developing, even though it's not like he's a 22 or 23 year old. He's getting better every season and I love watching him play. Not to mention that Hero just had a great season. He'd have a great team. I mean, they still got Lowry, Struess, Kayla Martin re-signed, Gabe Vincent was a great player this past regular season and for moments in the playoffs. The Heat are pretty loaded, man. They're not like insanely stacked. I wouldn't call them a super team by any means, but I think they're like one piece away from, you know, being a, I wouldn't say championship favorite, but a team in the East that's among, you know, the Celtics and the Bucks in terms of just how stacked they are. I wouldn't say the Bucks are stacked, but the Celtics, I think they are. I think they've really stacked the deck because 
in that starting five. This past season, it was Marcus Smart, it was Robert Williams, Al Horford, and then, of course, Tatum and Brown. Grant Williams off the bench, and then they added Derek White. Now they've added Malcolm Brogdon, who could give you 25 and 5. 20 points, 5 rebounds, 5 assists. He really could. And he defends? That's big. Grant Williams, really big time player, and man, if they can just add a good backup big, I think they'll be looking good. They also added Gallinari, which is a big deal. He's a guy who could give you like 15 a game off the bench. Maybe not 15, but y'all know what I mean. I didn't even mention Pritchard yet. He's not bad either. Hey, what's up, Drippy Toast? Welcome back. Faze Laser says, what team do you hate the most? I feel like this is an answer that all of you guys expect me to say. It's a very boring answer, but I really don't hate any team. I mean, if I did have to pick a team I disliked, it probably would be Brooklyn, though. I don't hate them, but just a weird, kind of dysfunctional organization right now. Short says, didn't they trade Pritchard? They kept Pritchard, but they traded away Stauskas, Neesmith, um, Daniel Tice, and Malik Fitz. And a draft pick. Mr. Mamba said, hey yo, what's up Mr. Mamba? Welcome to the stream. Leland said, wheel spin. Let's do the wheel spin after we get Dominique. So let's get 2,000 wins. We're only four wins away from that. Then we'll do the wheel spin back at the main menu. And then we'll open the pack for Dominique. And then obviously we'll end the stream. Four wins away from being done with Triple Threat. That's crazy. And we have 625 people in here. That is amazing. Chase the Goat said, how do you earn MT very fast? I think the best game mode to make MT is Triple Threat Online, but if you don't want to play the game, then sniping is a great way to make MT. Sniping, baby. Gavin says, I just subscribed. I gotta respect the grind. I appreciate you, Gavin. And you sent that same message like four times. I'm so sorry I kept on missing it, man. Thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to Doc Nation. And Mr. Mamba, thank you so much for the dono. He said, what if Mr. Beast made a 2K channel? Then yeah, if Mr. Beast made a 2K channel, he would easily become the biggest 2K content creator of all time. Imagine if he actually ends up being comp at the game. Mr. Beast, he would expand the 250K tournament to a 2.5 million tournament, honestly. Yeah, Mr. Beast, if he made a 2K gaming channel, That'd be hilarious. Especially if he was actually a comp at the game. If he, if he was any good, a ton of people would watch him. Even if he sucked, a lot of people would watch him. It's Mr. Beast. Mystic Jack said Mr. Beast would be a 2K sweat. Facts. Facts. Mr. Beast would be all money spent, no question about it. He would be hard to beat just off of his cards alone. Magnus says, can you open some packs after? Maybe in my next stream. In my next stream, we're getting Invincible and Endgame Dirk. I'm gonna buy a few cards on the auction house with my MT, just so I can get more cards for Dirk. But maybe, just maybe, I can spend some MT on packs too. Hey, Pavel! I really hope I pronounced that right. Thank you so much for the sub, Pavel, and welcome to Doc Nation. What's up, Oak Native? What's up, Tyler Moore? Welcome to the stream, both of y'all. Ashmel said, who is Mr. Beast? A really big content creator. Big time content creator on YouTube. I mean, I can't just call him a YouTuber because, I mean, he does so much. He's got a gaming channel too. I mean, he streams on Twitch sometimes. And yeah, he's more than a content creator. Just a really good dude who makes great content and chocolate and gives away a lot. What's up, Tyler Moore? Welcome to the stream. And what is up, Mr. Mamba? Another dono from Mr. Mamba. And he said, Mr. Mamba. Thank you so much for back-to-back -back donos, Mr. Mamba. You guys have been super generous with donos the entire stream, so I really do appreciate y'all. 
Look at Curry, man. Hey, no limit zone. If you're still in here, ever since I've made the switch to Curry, we've been winning these games so much faster. This invincible Curry is easily one of the best offline players in the game. I know I missed that shot, but we're not going to miss the rest of the game. Mark my words. Quindell says, can you answer my question? Yes, there's your answer. Sneaker head. Thank you so much for the sub. You guys be like Sneakerhead. Make sure you sub if you haven't already. We have 650 people watching right now, and this grind's almost over. This stream is going to be over pretty soon, so if you want to see more streams like this in the future, make sure you're subscribed, man. The vibes are always good. I have so much fun talking to y'all. And tomorrow, we're going to be getting End Game Dirk. I know Dirk came out a while ago, but... We're just now going to be hitting 4,000 cards, so tomorrow we're getting Dirk, and we're going to be adding him to our squad. He's going to be my fourth endgame card. Monkey said sub goal. Mystic Jack said sub goal again. A. Hey, that's big time, ladies and gentlemen. That's big time. I'm not even going to check my phone. I'm not going to check to see if you guys are right, because I know you guys wouldn't bamboozle me Especially not this late at night. Man, thank you so much for the dubs. Fable, Monkey. That's big time, baby. 32.7 thousand subs is big time. Less than 300 away from the big 33k. Also, I lied. We missed again. Desmond said, how many cards do you have now? Desmond, I have like... 3,960 something. I know I'm less than 40 away, but I can't remember the exact number. We'll find out after this game, or after I get Dominique. RIP Pozo! Thank you so much for subscribing. Also, Shadow Vibes. I missed your message. Let's replay it now. Thanks you so much for the sub. Hey, let's go ahead and change that sub goal, guys. We're probably not going to hit this, but... Boom, 32.8. Maybe we'll get there tomorrow. We'll see, we'll see. Fable said, I remember when you had like 12,000 subs. It's been so long. You used to average like 100 viewers max. Good old days, man, good old days. We're still in the good old days though, thankfully. That was not very long ago. Godly said, isn't Dirk invincible? Yes. But, if you score 53 points with the Invincible Dirk, you get the Endgame Dirk. T-Man says, who all have you gotten out the vault? From the vault, we've gotten everybody except for D-Rose. In this stream, I've gotten everybody except D-Rose and Ralph Sampson. Dude, those two threes weren't even that contested. 7% right there? Dude, how am I missing these threes? Those were two pretty good shots. We better not miss the rest of the game, because those were very good looks. What? How am I breaking all these threes? 2K does not want me to be done. Monkey said nine minutes until 222. Really? Only nine minutes? That means we've won like 17 games in the last 50 minutes. We've been going fast. Way faster than I expected. Brack said, how's it been, Doc? It's been great, man. Been a great stream. It's been a great week overall, really. Curry's not having a game. He's not. He's really not. Hopefully, we don't miss the rest of the game, but... Like, even these contested shots, I gotta green them. I know we're being guarded by Igadala, but... That doesn't mean much at all. This Curry's so good. I should never miss with him. Nor said, said, I don't want you to be done. This stream is chilling. It has been a really good stream, but we will be back again tomorrow with a video and a stream. Video and live stream tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. T-Man said, the new D-Rose has the curry slide. What? I didn't know that. Invincible D-Rose can curry slide? That's probably 
He's probably going to be a lot of fun. I want to get him. Good shot. Double J said, got busy at work. What did I miss? Um, really not much. You did miss a lot of wins. We're only two wins away. If we win this game, we're only one win away from Dominique Wilkins. There we go. Good shot. See, I should have been greening the entire game, but eh, it's not too big of a deal. Yeah, Pig Nation, I'm pretty sure we have one more win. Unless I'm counting wrong. Warriors A Cash said, Curry don't want you to finish by 222. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. It's like Curry wants this stream to go on. I told you guys, we would be done by 222 AM. We have seven minutes to spare. 1,999 wins down, one win to go. Until we have Dominique Wilkins. Surreal, really surreal. Malu said, imagine D-Rose on the last game. I couldn't imagine. I would love that to happen, but... Nah, we didn't get D-Rose the first 80 games of this stream. I didn't get him the other day. I doubt we're going to get him this stream, even though that would be amazing. Shadow Vibe said, JaVale McGee carrying for real. JaVale McGee has been insane this stream. He hasn't shot the ball a single time, but he's made a big impact. Brayden, thank you so much for the sub. Welcome to Doc Nation, my man. Hey, we got the chat. We got the chat. Shouting, let's go, Doc. Splash, Mystic Jack, Monkey. The let's go, Doc chant is back. We are four three-pointers away from Dominique Wilkins, so... Defense really doesn't even matter. We could contest and block shots, but... Let's just get back and knock down a three. That's off. The curry slide, it's worked almost every time, but not that time. I'm pulling up from half court. Ooh, great shot. Oh, the chat's going insane. The amount of let's go docs I'm seeing is amazing. Ashmel, LeBron, Donkey Man, Heha, Warriors A Cash, Grinding, Antonio, Fable. Wow. The amount of let's go docs is breaking my chat. Godly Power, Norseds, AYT, Orange Juice. Whoo! That chat's going insane. Iced, short. Dude, it's just everyone chanting, let's go, Doc, in all caps. 1 3 away, guys. 1 3. And Dominique Wilkins is ours. We're done with clutch time. We got Pistol Pete from TTO. We're done with draft. We got level 40. We finished domination. And now, Dominique Wilkins is ours. 2,000 wins in Triple Threat, baby. The grind's done. And that Triple Threat offline win count, I'm pretty sure it's not going to be moving up for the rest of NBA 2K22. We're officially done. We're opening the vault. It's going to be three tokens, but you never know. Maybe it's going to be D-Rose. It's going to be three tokens. I hate when I'm right. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. Dark Matter, Invincible, Dominique Wilkins. Fun fact, he follows me on Instagram, at CPTheDoc. Alright guys, let's do our daily spin. Let's do that daily spin right quick, and then we'll open the pack for Dominique. Connor, thank you so much for the sub, and welcome to Doc Nation, my man. Can we get Chet? No Chet for us, but... We got ourselves an endgame Carmelo Lamelo pack. So I guess we'll go ahead and open the Dominique pack and then the Lamelo pack. And eventually, I'm going to open up all these packs too, man. I told you guys. There's two Elgin Baylors right there. Tony Parker's, Terrence Ross's. Yeah, we were getting Terrence Ross's, Tony's, and Elgin's galore. Let's get Invincible Dominique out of this pack. We'll do a quick pose with him. And then we'll open up the end game pack. Whoo! That beautiful dark matter glow, baby. Eastern Conference small forward, number 21. Ashmel, Fable, Splash, Kyle, Auburn. Thank you guys so much for the dubs. Let's hit a quick pose for the one time. Quick pose. Dominique rubbing his hands together. Looking nice. In that Hawks jersey, baby. 
Dark Matter Dominique. He's going to be awesome. I'm not sure how much I'm going to use him, but he's going to be a beast. All right, guys, real quick. Our final pack of the stream, I guess you could say. Endgame, Carmelo, and Lamelo. We're probably not going to get anything good. A pink diamond right down the middle. Eh, I guess Danny Ferry is one of the best pink diamonds possible, but... No, why did I quick sell Dylan Brooks? <sighs> a bit of an L. We missed out on a little bit of MT right there, but... Yeah, guys. We are now 38 cards away from Dirk. Well, Invincible Dirk. And 53 points with that Dirk away from Endgame Dirk. Native said, ouch, yeah. Shouldn't have done that, but... It's not a big deal. 38 more cards for Dirk. We're going to get him tomorrow. Let's go ahead and throw Dominique on the bench in exchange for probably Richard Jefferson. Dominique's a small forward. There he is right there. Let's take a quick look at him, man. Six foot seven shooting guard, small forward. He's probably going to be my backup shooting guard. He's got a 99 3, 99 standing dunk, driving dunk. Great ball handle. I mean, he's invincible, so he's pretty good at everything. What badges does he have? He's got 79 badges total. Great shooting badges. Pretty good playmaking badges. He's definitely got Limitless, Posterizer, all the important badges. Yeah, man. The only badge he's missing is Special Delivery. Everything else is at least gold, which is solid. I'm not sure how good this Dominic is because I've never seen anybody use him. So real quick, let's get a few shots up with him. Just because I'm curious to how good he is. And then we'll end the stream right there. We've been going for about 4 hours, 15 minutes. But we'll be done in about 5 minutes, guys. Dominique Wilkins. That escape dribble is pretty slow. Okay, his escape dribble going to one side is pretty fast. But let's go ahead and change up our sliders. Let's put it on Hall of Fame. And let's test out the jumper. Okay, the jumper's nice. Now, it is pretty easy to contest. I mean, you can tell by not only how high he jumps, but also, you know, his release point. It's pretty much right in front of his face. And Dominique's like six foot seven, so it's a pretty low, low release point, but it's very easy. Very easy, very quick, and easy to green, as you guys can tell. He can catch it and shoot it very fast. And of course, we got to attempt the leaner. Oh yeah. Yeah, this card will be fine. Should you use him as your shortest player in Triple Threat Online? Honestly, I don't know. Six foot seven's a pretty good height. He's got good defensive badges, a great leaner. The only thing is that his release is fast, but it's low. It's not a very high release point. So the jumper is very good, but that's probably his one big weakness I can point out. The leaner is fine. It's easy. It's quick. Like, we're greening it pretty much every time. He's got Limitless, so he can definitely knock it down from back here. But the escape dribble package is kind of slow. The jump shot itself, it's pretty good. But he definitely doesn't have that same high release point that, you know, Invincible T-Mac has, for example. Or even Dark Matter Richard Jefferson. So even though he's got good range, even though he can catch and shoot for sure, even though his handles aren't the worst, that escape is kind of slow. He's got a Hall of Fame quick first step, but let's see how he breaks from that escape into a drive. Okay, that's pretty good. Not the best, but he's got the quick first step, great dunk packages, a very easy catch and shoot jumper, and a pretty good leaner. So let's make one more shot and then we're probably going to call it a night. Yeah, the leaner is beautiful. I mean, y'all know I love shooting leaners. If you're on next gen, you should also love shooting leaners. Let's knock down one more, and then we're going to call it a night. I mean, it's just money. Come on, we can't end on a miss. I know Dominique's getting tired, but ain't no way we're going to end this thing on a miss. Great shooting by Dominique. Pretty good display of his abilities, and yeah, I'm probably going to use him on the team because I'm a huge Dominique fan, but he's definitely not better than, you know, the most elite shooting guards in the game. Is he better than Dr. J? I don't think so, because I like Dr. J's release better, but yeah, we got Dr. J off the bench. I got Dominique as the backup shooting guard, but I'm probably going to move him back here. Of course, we got Jokic, Harden, Weber, Embiid, but we're probably going to move Embiid to the bench 
tomorrow because we're getting Endgame Dirk tomorrow. So you guys stay tuned for that stream. It's going to be a really good one and I'm already looking forward to seeing you guys there. For the first like 30 minutes of tomorrow's stream, we're just going to be buying cards on the auction house because we are still like 39 cards away, 38 cards away from getting Dirk. So we got to get all the cards, whether it's in, you know, the premium sets or even the events. Like we got to make sure we get signatures for cheap if they're on the auction house for cheap. You know, get the cheapest players possible. I'm not too worried about getting cheap stuff, but yeah, right here. I mean, Rudy Gay signature for 3000 got to get that. No matter how expensive the cards are that we got to get, we're going to make sure to get them, so... You guys turn on those notifications and stay tuned because tomorrow we're getting Dirk and he's going to be our new power forward. We might play some clutch time with him. Man, we're so close to having a full endgame five. Harden, Weber, Jokic, then it'll be Dirk. You guys stay tuned for that stream. It's probably going to be tomorrow night. Dominique, welcome to the collection. It's good to have you. I think we're about to end this stream right here. Ladies and gentlemen, yes sir, Orange Juice, Brody, Mystic Jack, great stream, really good stream. It'll probably be tomorrow night at the exact same time this stream started, so you guys stay ready for that, and yeah, we're about to end things right here, but first, let's see if any of my boys are live on YouTube so we can raid. You guys know I love to raid, but hmm, none of my boys are live. None of my guys are live. Decentric is live on his second channel, but subs only mode is turned on, and we just raided him a few days ago in my last stream, so let's see if there's anybody else. Refresh. Nah, it's literally only Decentric, so we're probably going to end this stream right here, guys. It was a good one, and I hope you guys are looking forward to another stream tomorrow. This one was a lot of fun. It went crazy. And we got Dominique, so we got the job done, had fun along the way, and man, our lineup is getting pretty good. Fable, stay grinding. Antonio, Splash, King 2K, stay grinding. Mystic Jack, Ashmail, everybody else who's still here, thank you so much for hanging around till the end of the stream. You guys are awesome, and I'm looking forward to seeing y'all again tomorrow night. Turn on your notifications, though, because in the afternoon, I'm uploading my first basketball video, real-life basketball video of the summer. I'm super excited for you guys to see it. William Fridia, Megan, Rebhav, Fable, Fallon, everybody who's still here. Brody, ZayT, Shadow Vibes, JR Martinez, LeBron. Man, what a stream it's been. Native, Purple, Pig Nation, Gage. You guys stay chill, stay safe, have a good night, and I'll see y'all again real soon.